Well, this is a strange way to start it on the language screen, but basically, yeah, if you've read the, the title, this is uh, Lost Branch of Horde. I got this game, got a code for this game. It's a card game like Slate Aspire. I've never played Slate Aspire, but I watched Vinny play it maybe like twice in my life. So, you know, maybe I'll understand it. In other words, uh, streamer ellipses inbound. If that's the case, shut up. All right, just, I'll figure it out. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, this came out in English. It's still at early access, from what I understand. There's so you know, if I find any uh, bugs or anything like that, which I'm pretty good at, I'm sure they will be fixed in later versions <laughs> because this isn't Game Freak. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Is this all mouse controlled? I guess so. Input name. There's only one name that matters here. Okay. Settings. Uh, not full screen. Perfect. All right. All right. I'd have my controller set up. Oh, oh, nice. Controller does work. I think. Wait, what? Select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. I have to set that up and I don't know what any of it says. Mute while unfocused? What does that even mean? Fuck it. It's just chat. When I play with a mouse, it means I'm not- I, I play on the recording because it's closer to the chat. So when I have to play on mouse, I can't look at the- Hold on. Maybe I do this. Maybe I do this. Hold on. All right, that looks terrible, but it works. All right, good enough. Collection, run history, music room extras. All right, well chat, let's just uh, start a run, I guess. So I'm not too great with card games to begin with. We'll see how this goes. So there are characters you can play as, it seems. Complexity, none, well, one. Starting life, 80, money, 10, okay. Squishy. What? You can play as Sakuya, Chirbo, Squishy, and Doze. Interesting. Interesting. Well, obviously, I just gotta I gotta play as Reimu because that's the main character. Spell card. That's a lot of informations. 15 damage to three enemies. Accurate. Adds art of the mana base. Holy! Sh Is there a tutorial chat? I think I need a tutorial. That's, this is a lot to read, and I don't understand how any of it is like how any of it is applied. Starting deck. I'm not looking at that. Nope. Where? You know what? Also, I get to pick. Wait, do I get to pick one of these? What the hell is this? Uh. That's Reimu A and this is Reimu B. Oh, I see. So they have two different... Okay, how do I start? Like, how do I actually start the game? Click and confirm. Oh. Start each run with one of Kaguya's treasures. You cannot reach the final act. Enemies have more life and hit harder. Enemies have more life and harder and more dangerous moves. If you haven't played Slate of Spire, it is recommended to play easy difficulty first. Uh, chat, I think I should- I think I need to play on easy mode, but I will do normal and just, you know, I will do normal. Cause you are here. Surely. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> A and T. Night. <laughs> During the last expedition, Moko, uh, you called this deserted place an exposition. Oh, okay, this is in her mind. 
darn you, Moko. Kaguya vowed that I'd do everything in her power to make the next exposition the greatest of all time. So remember, chat, this happened in... Uh, which one was it? I don't remember. I know what, I know what happened in Itaba of the Moon, Itaba of the Earth. It might have happened in more than that, though. But Kaguya ran an ex exposition or expedition expo exposition uh, of like moon stuff. I remember that. That was something they hosted there. I'm pretty sure they they did it uh, in Lun Runegate as well. Maybe because I remember they her her bit in Runegate was about like rainbow colored mochi that looked gross but tasted good. And I'm pretty sure somehow the fairies of light came out, out with like the American flag. Like the flag from the moon. I don't remember the details, but I know about the Kaguya's lunar exposition. I know about it. Ma! Me and you! Every guest, you can take one exhibit of their choice home, treasures not included. Can't do that then. Nice mask. Who are these characters, chat? I see. Okay, I see Suika. I see Snai. Uh, I see what looks like. I mean, it's definitely Narumi, but her hair is brighter. But I guess it's just the distance it's from. And then Chirbo. And then Kaguya. This is the Udong, also known as the Jeweled Branch of Horai. It has blossomed because of everyone's enthusiasm. Asani! Yo! We have many guests here today. I hope everyone has a good time at the exposition. Sage is here. <laughs> I enjoy their facial expressions. <laughs> Oh, nice cat's eyes. Got Goliath. That's a, that's a Shanghai doll. Why Shanghai on the moon? Doremi? Sakuya? <laughs> it's like the pagoda. I thought the Lunarians would have much more interesting stuff. Turns out I was wrong. Yes, my lady, there are many things you've already seen after all. <laughs> hey, Sakuya, look. Doesn't this look kind of interesting? Remilia points to... The space suit. <laughs> My lady, wearing that is a bit... That's fantastic. <laughs> hmm? What are those jewels? God, the jewel branch of Horai has disappeared. Did Eden do this as part of the show? This art is phenomenal. <laughs> the story is great. Kaguya, if you find it, I'll let you choose one of my treasure. Scrabbled out of there. Everyone. Whoa! Reimu. Boy, why is everyone so worked up? Huh? Isn't that Eden? Oh, shit. I'll help you as much as I can, Reimu. Okay. <clears throat> Feel free to take anything you need. Choose one advantage. Passing the bamboo forest will bring additional options. Sponsor, gain 100 monies. That's Reimu. That's Eden. Okay. Map, library, settings can be exchanged for goods and services. Rainbow obtains 100 points and she carefully puts the huge sum of money into her skirt's pocket. Here's some medicine I've carefully prepared. Take a pill. Red pill, gain 200 P. Blue pill, gain 20 maximum life. What's... What's power used for? Tell me, Neo. Which pill are you gonna take? Power is for your spell card. Oh, so if it gives me 200, I'll have... I can use two spell cards, huh? Right out the gate? Accurate attacks cannot be grazed, so that's like dodging. Okay. 200 is the cap, too. I'm taking maximum life, then. <clears throat> Raymu feels refreshed. Time to resolve the incident. Alright, what do we got? That's the start. Enemy, 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 enemy. Event, 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 enemy, event, enemy. Elite, shop, gap, elite. So you get a shop if you run the enemy gauntlet. I'm gonna do the one with the most events, so let's do this one. Let's go enemy. Okay. Welcome to the Lunar Capital Exposition. Try hard to find the Lost Branch of Legend. If you have played any other deck building game, you can select brief hints to ch ch uh, check the special part of the game. Subsequent game hints will also follow this preference. You can adjust the game hint settings in the setting panel at any time. Please show show all hints to the game. It's my first time playing a deck building game. Okay. 
Play a card from your hand to expel the enemy. Cards played from your hand will be moved to the discard pile. At the end of the player's turn, cards that remain in your hand will also move to the discard pile. New cards will be drawn at the beginning of the player's turn. Right click on the card to view its details. This also, uh, this also work for most... This also work for most of the panels in the game. Works. <laughs> okay. Playing cards require... Playing cards requires mana consumption. The card's mana cost is displayed in the upper right corner. There are seven types of mana-based colored mana. So light, water, dark, fire, uh, uh, grass, I guess. Colorless mana and rainbow, which can fit fill any into any mana cost requirement. So like Pokemon energies, huh? Is it like Pokemon energies? Colorless, so it's, it sounds... Okay, it is? Huh. Generic... Costs like two can be paid with any two mana. The mana panel shows the remaining mana for your current turn. Left click on any mana to move mana to the pending area. The mana in the pending area will be consumed first. Right click on any mana to move all mana that color to the pending area. Mana is restored at the beginning of the player's turn. Hold on. So let me ask. So hold on, chat. So let me ask. So on the sidebar there, I start with three fires and two lights, yeah? So, the card I have down here on the far left requires a light and a colorless, which means it just requires two mana, but one of them has to be light. Yes? But what... What about the card on the far right that has three fire manas and one colorless? But they're, like, on the other ends of the card. What's up with that? Why... Why... Why is it... Is there a reason it's split up like that, or is it... They're just stacked cards? Oh, wait, you're right. Okay, no, I see. I see now. Okay, they're, so all the mana costs are displayed on the top right, so they're just clipping into each other. That's what it is. Okay. I understand. Well, I mean, when I hover over a card, it'll show it properly, but I'll, I'll, I'll get used to that. <clears throat> Before taking damage, play a defense card to gain block and barrier. Block and barrier reduce the amount of damage that will be dealt. Block disappears at the beginning of the main character next turn, but barrier does not. The enemy's intent is displayed above them. Enemies may have intentions such as attack, defend, buff, apply, debuff, or cast a spell card. Cast the spell card to turn the tide of battle. Using spell card consumes a full tube of power. Defeated enemies draw P, which replenishes the power needed for the spell card. Spell cards can only be used once per turn. Okay. The enemy intends to deal 8 damage to the player 2 times for 16. Gain 10 block. Damage reduces block. Uh, damage reduces block instead of reducing life or barrier at the start of the character. So turn they lose all blocks. So that's just basically a defense of 10. So that means if she hits me, it would do 6. That's just 5 damage. That'll make it 15. Deal 7 damage 2 times, and deal 10 damage. I see. Okay. Library. Okay, so any card I don't use gets discarded anyway. So I basically need to make use of what I have to mitigate damage, but also deal damage. So in this case, I have... How do I make it so I don't use the fire one? Like this? Oh, okay. So I can select the mana, and it will pick for me, but there is an auto-select type of deal. But in the case, I don't want the fire one to be used. Okay. Just think of what I want to do. Uh, pretty easy. Okay. Okay. And then defense on Reimu. And I can shoot or I can block. Alright. So it did one damage. And I get... So, okay. So I always get... Unspent mana shown here. You need mana to cast cards. Click the mana. Okay, so... Chat. Uh... Does mana stack, or is it always a turn thing? 
Like, uh, if I don't use this mana here, will I get the same amount of refresh? Or is it always just gonna give me three fires and two lights? It will empty out. So it's like the cards. You waste what you don't use. Okay, so you wanna use... You wanna make the best use of your hand slash mana each turn because you don't actually gain any benefit from stockpiling it. Okay. Alright. So now, seven damage, and the enemy intends to block or bear here. Okay. So in that case... Okay. Well, let's put up our own... Our own defense. And then I have enough to attack for 15. Alright. So she'll attack now, and do seven. And then she put up a barrier. Empty draw pile. When a card would be drawn, there are no cards left in draw pile. This card pile is shuffled and becomes the new draw pile. Okay, so when you go through your entire deck, it just uh, it returns back to being your your Yaya. Yeah. Okay. So she has a block of nine. Actually, how can you tell if the chat? How can you tell if they used a block or a barrier? Because right now I'm assuming it's a block card they used. So they have nine defense for the turn. And next turn they want to attack. Barrier is blue. Okay. So this is block. In that case... No reason... I can't do anything with this. It doesn't really matter. The block will go away when it's her turn. But I won't take any damage for myself. And as, from what I understand in these games, chat, you don't really recover after each bout, so... Like, while attacking... While big numbers makes the brain feel good, receiving as little damage as possible, albeit slow and steady, of course, it seems like the optimal, uh, optimal way to go about things. Tends to block and tends to bop. So she's not attacking this turn, so there's no reason... There's no reason to use a block card, so I can use all of my resources here on attacking and finish her off. Okay. Don't forget to claim your rewards. A small amount of money can be obtained by choosing not to take a card reward. Okay, so I can add a card to the deck or I can take money for the shop. Hmm. Alright. Oh, I get both. Oh. Um, but if you skip, you just get money. Okay. Do I get all three? Oh, I get to choose. Okay. I like the art. Wow, look at this Raiko. <laughs> uh, let's see. Exile, what's that? Remove from play until end of combat. So those are one-use cards, right? I remember those cards from uh, from when I saw Vinny. There were cards that could only be played once in the in the game. Okay, choose one of the three random attack cards to add to your hand. It temporarily costs. So that lets me put an attack card in my hand, and it becomes free to use. But I can only do this once. Uncommon, uncommon, common. Tiny hitbox. Gain two grays and one vulnerable. <laughs> this character takes zero damage from attacks. Lose one graze when attacked at the start of each turn. This character takes 50% more damage from attacks. Okay. So let me let me understand how this one works. So graze is a one-time dodge, essentially. However, Reimu also gains one time, do basically 1.5 increase in damage on the next attack that hits her. So I can dodge two attacks for free, but once Graze disappears, Vulnerable will be there, and when I get hit, I will take 0.5 more than usual. Is that correct? Is that how that works? There's a lot going on in this one. Okay. Alright. So this one, this is a, a double dodge, but there's a pay, uh... It's a double dodge, but there's a, if you don't take the enemy out, then there's a, you know, you, there's danger. Certain attacks can ignore graze. Yeah, my, my spell card's one of them. Spe 
attacks that are considered accurate. They can't be grazed. And this one. Deal 12 damage to each enemy. Enemies with barrier block are dealt that damage twice. Hope their neighbor don't like this. <laughs> um, I have no idea what I want. So, these are Reimu's specific cards, yeah. Yeah, these are cards that could only show up when playing as Reimu. But then this card let's just shows up. Okay, hmm. Choose one of three random attack cards to add to your hand. It temporarily costs zero. But at the same time, it costs mana to use that, so... I wonder how useful that is. I, I, I don't know. I'll take the tiny hitbox card. Okay. Event. <laughs> hey, sis. Ever heard of the brick chain? Oh, no. Oh, no. Guaranteed returns if you invest right now. Want to learn more? No, I don't think I do. <laughs> Long-term investment. Lose 40, gain money shower. Gain 20, exile. <laughs> so I can... I cost 3 mana, but I can play it in a, in, a, in a battle once per battle and gain 20 cash for it. Short term investment. Lose 100. Gain a random rare card and reject. Nothing happens. Chat. What do you think? Do I... Do I join it up? Do I do I spend responsibly for a rare card? I don't know. It's, it's been exactly one battle, a rare card. Always pull. Always pull. All right. Well, I can actually choose to go up now, but I'd rather check the gap out first. Boss select. Okay. Tengu. Purple cap, red cap. Hold on. What was that card I got? This one. Rayma Unique. It's a block. Expanding barrier. For each light spent, gain six block. For each fire spent, deal six damage to the enemy. Damage reduces block. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know what block does. X cost. When the card is played, excess bloody mana is spent to pay for X. Wait, what? When the card is played, excess... Oh, so when I play that, it'll use every piece of mana I have, right? Anything that I didn't use before this card will get used alongside it, and this one gets better effects depending on which ones it takes. So basically, if I were to play this right now, it would block for 12, and it would do 18 damage. Which is kind of exactly what I want to do to kill both these things, huh? You don't need to put them in the queue. No, 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 I, no, what I'm asking is, if I, basically, chat, if I click this right now, it'll take one fire, one light, and one, and everything that I haven't used yet will also go into this card. So this card should be played last if I want to do other things on the turn. But, in this case, if I just play it now, it'll use all my mana and do what I just said, right? When this card access floating mana is spent to pay for X, you have to tell it how much you want to spend. So I have to I have to queue everything up. Hold on. The enemy intends to add status car uh and take zero damage from the next attack. There's one graze when the attack starts. So they both have graze on. This is not accurate though. Oh, okay. Do I have a sp Shit. Purple card takes zero damage from the next attack. Zero damage from the next attack. That's not a multi-hit, is it? Are there multi-hits, chat, or is it... Well, I mean, there are. But that's, this isn't a multi-hit, is it? It's one big hit. So, if it wasn't for Graze, this would be the play. But as it is right now, it would give me the block for, uh, for the red hat. It does deal six damage to each enemy for each fire one, so I assume it's one attack, right? Because, like, this one says deal damage two times. This one specifies it, de it deals damage two times. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do this. Okay, the graze is gone. 
But also, I want to put up a barrier. Because uh, the top Tengu is going to attack. And I I don't want to spend that yet. I want to get rid of uh, the other Greys. Oh, wait, no, but this card gets discarded anyway, so... But I can't play it now. I forgot that it gets discarded, so there's no point in saving it. Uh, shit. Oh, well, that's, that's fine. Greys disappeared. Exile. What? Removed. Hukashi Spirit News. She just add. Oh, wait. Is that just junk? That'll get shuffled back into my deck. So Gray's Gray's decreases each turn. I see. Okay, Gray's decreases each turn, and now now I is gonna do it, and she's gonna attack. But now I don't have that cool card anymore. Tiny hitbox. Okay. Okay, I see. Character takes this one Gray's one attack at the start of each turn. All right. Uh Okay. Let's just get her in a position to go down, I guess. I won't take damage for this. News flashed. Only does eight, okay. Uh, where was it? Boomer news. <laughs> Deal one damage to a random enemy. I, I I like the art for this. I like the art for these cards. <laughs> okay. Intend to graze one more enemy attacks. Okay, so now I'm not getting attacked. So now... Okay, so hold on. So I killed it. Firepower. Gain one firepower. Firepower increases damage dealt with attacks. So everything does one more damage now? How do I read up on Reimu's, uh... Reimu's effects? How do I read on Reimu's effects? Like, her character strengths? The Relic of top. Oh, this thing? Bloodthirsty Ying Yang Orb. Adds uh, fire to the mana base. Cards unique to Raymo are added to the card pool. Whenever an enemy is defeated, Raymo gets one firepower and two life. Firepower increases damage dealt with attack. Okay, is that a permanent thing? Like, is firepower one always there? Probably not, because it's not there from the fairy. I mean, one damage can... It can add up. Alright, so now just double attack. Just for the battle. Okay, that's what I thought. Plus two grays. Okay. <laughs> Move from play until the end of combat. I don't have an attack card. Or maybe I did. Maybe I did have an attack card. Ten block. Eight damage two times. Perfect. Alright. New card. What do we got? Reimu Defense. Common Reimu. Gain 10 block, add a Kami Aura Talisman to the hand. Hmm? Kami Aura Talisman, gain 10 block, exile, retain. Retain. This card is not discarded at the end of each turn. What? Damage reduce. Wait a minute, what? Exile and retain. What? Remove from play until the end of combat, but this card is not discarded at the end of each turn. It stays in your hand until you play it. Oh, that's what it means. So I always have it as an option, but I can only do it once. Okay. Ascension kick. Oh, it's Rainbow's fucking flash kick. Draw one card, gain three temporary power. So that's plus three to my attacks. Okay, that's cool. And gain 24 block. Gain 6 static charge. Static charge. When damage, deal damage back to the attacker. Remove it at the start of the character's next turn. 
So that's counter, essentially. So a six damage counter until Ray moves next turn. 24 block and six damage. I mean, that's kind of overkill right now. Yeah, it takes four mana. But a 24 damage block, I don't think I need that, right? Draw a card and gain three temp power. Costs one mana. Uh, draw one card and gain three temporary power. How long is temporary power? Until the end of turn. Uh, I don't know, chat. I don't know. I could skip for money. I don't know. Using an aura uh, to... I don't really have damage. I mean, card draw is nice, yeah, but it takes mana to do it. I guess it could help. I don't know. I, yeah, I have no idea how to play this game properly, so... I guess I'm just grabbing cards, right? Okay, gap. What's the gap? Upgrade a card. Heal 30% of your maximum life. Oh. It's like a rest stop. This Yukari art is fucking gorgeous, by the way. Okay, so upgrading. Does this cost anything? Mark for game run initial debug. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, like, how, how exactly does a power-up card work? Choose a card to upgrade. Yokai Buster Plus. Deal 6 damage 3 times. Oh, I see. Deal 8 damage. Deal 14 damage. Gain 14 block. Gain 8 block. Draw 1 card. Oh, this makes it free! Oh, shit! Hold on, chat! That makes it free! Which means I get an extra card and a power boost on this turn with no cost. That seems really good. What about this? 8 block and 8 damage. Okay. So, that's small. It's a small increase, but it can stack. But now's not the time. 3 gray is 1 vulnerable. I'm taking the flash kick upgrade to make it a free card. Because let me tell you something, chat. If Pokemon's taught me anything, anything that is turn 0 can turn even the most useless move into a god tier like ability. Look at Intimidate. One of the best abilities in Pokemon is Intimidate, and it's literally just a turn zero growl. So, having a card that has no cost and gives you benefits is always going to be better than a card that costs anything at all. Really, really good card. Yeah. <laughs> Draw neutral and plus three, which is really good. So, I'm taking the, uh, I'm taking the Ascension Kick. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're good. Free moves are great. Exactly. Exactly. Boss select. Ray how could I notice that a number of attendees are also looking for the culprit just like her? Who do you think might have a clue to the culprit? Choose your opponent. She will become the boss for the first act. Sakuya or Marissa? Well, of course it's gotta be choose Marissa. It feels like Marissa Kirisame might know something. Hmm. Ray Muhaku decides to exit the bamboo forest. Okay, so this this event lets me choose who I'll face at the as the boss. That's how it works. Event, event, boss fight, gap. Ah, uh, elite. Hmm. I could take the easy path. I don't have any money anymore. Hmm. I could do the enemy first, event second. Oh, actually, wait, there's no, well, there's no difference if I do, if I do that, there's no difference in doing that. Hmm, what's the best way to do this? Yeah, I, I want to, I want to see what an elite is, so I think I'm just going to go the third path. Yeah. Start with the event. Rainbow Hawker sees a large bag of money on the side of the road. Ignore, nothing happens, take it, get 150. Uh-uh. Raymo Hakurei picks up the money and counts it. Wow, seems like Miss Raymo is really lucky today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If you want your luck to stay, it'll cost you a tiny bit. Give all, get lucky rabbit's foot. 
At the end of combat, if this card isn't exiled, gain uh, 10. Unplayable. Well, I mean, that's hard because if I if I draw it, if I draw it at all and it just gets, it gets exiled itself, how the fuck do I, how do you even make that work? I would have to have a deck that like one turns everything. <laughs> Give some, refuse misfortune. <laughs> While in hand, at the end of the player's turn, lose one life for each 100 possessed. H how do I get rid of cards? Oh, shit. See, the thing is, I just don't, like, cards go to the graveyard at the end of the turn, so if this shows up in my hand, it's a useless card, and then I just don't get the money anyway. <laughs> It would need to have a retain effect to it, where it would stay in my hand. Exile is deleted. You can remove cards at the store for a price. Oh! Okay. Well... Remove from play until the end of combat. Wait, what is that? Hold on, what? It doesn't exile itself, so you will get the money. Wait, what? So, but it doesn't have a retain effect, right? No, I understand that when a card is exiled, it's banished. If it isn't exiled, so wait a minute, if it goes to my graveyard, it naturally it's fine? But how would a card be exiled then? No, no, I get it, I get it. I get what you mean now, chat. I get what you mean. Other card- Okay, no, I get what you mean. I understand. So I can put all that money back and have this card as an effect. There are cards that can exile. Oh, okay. I can give some of it, or I can refuse. You know what? Here you go, Tay. Sounds reasonable enough. Oh, I didn't expect you to be so kind. I wish you all the best tonight. That wasn't my money to begin with. You can't exile- Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> the events are funny. Alright, enemy. Cop. Deathly Pale Lady. Sick Girl. And Ghosts. Revenge Bullet. When Blue Vengeful Spirit is defeated, deals 5 damage to Reimu. Will detonate after 3 more turns. Dealing twice much that damage. So, I have to kill it. Deals 5... So this is- this is why you put block up ahead of time, yeah? Because it will block revenge bullets. Let me intensify a debuff. Okay. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Wait. When sick girls defeat a rave against two vulnerable. To each enemy. Use expanding board without setting the mana. You can set the mana at the bottom left of the panel. Oh, okay. So anyways, I started blasting. Oh, shit. It didn't kill them, chat. It didn't kill them. No. <laughs> All right, we're good. Seven block, seven block. Two more turns, four more turns. All right. Frail disappeared. Oh. I got a duck deck reshuffle, and it costs nothing that I have temporary firepower, plus four. 11 damage two times. Hold on. How much is that gonna do? Five. Oh, 
Oh, uh, fuck. I forgot to... Damn it. I meant to use the light one for that. Now I don't have a... Uh... Now I don't have a means to finish off this thing on this turn. Damn it. I was trying to minimize damage there. Okay. Well, I can finish it. I'm just trying to prevent the, re the revenge damage is all. It deals five. Okay. It's fine. It didn't matter that much. We're okay. We're okay. Alright, we got Talisman. Deals ten damage as Persuasion Needle to the hand. Okay. Exile and Retain. So, one use card... Stays in my hand, but it disappears. A masterpiece from Tartara Kogasa. Stays in my hand till I use it, but then it disappears for good. Okay. Uh, spell card duel. Gain 12 block, 12 reflection. Reflection. When damage dealt... When damage, deal damage back to the attacker and remove this effect. Okay. And firepower. This card is affected by firepower. So that means it increases the damage that is bounced back. It takes 3 mana. And this one. Block and three temporary firepower. Firepower increases damage. Why would you? Actually, wait. No. I yeah. No. You can do that. You put you put that on first. Hmm. I kind of like this one because it adds a uh, an attack card that I can use without having to. Uh, it adds a stronger attack card in my hand that I can use a light mana for. Yeah, I want to take Talisman. Collect money. Chad, I have to pee. I'll be right back. But I'm having a pretty great time with this. It's pretty cool. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Chat, my Reimu showed up today. Yeah, I'm sure you know. Also, look at my power. My power is only 34 out of 100. So starting with 200 would have been nice. Okay, all roads lead to racing. So let's just go here, I guess. So I don't need to heal so I can upgrade again. Uh, Cards only upgrade once. 15 to upgrade that. Deal 15 damage, adds persuasion needle. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, chat? This makes more money, but I don't know if that's worth of an investment. Expanding border. I'm thinking expanding border. Yeah, because it adds it, it adds two for uh, each of those. That would be really really good. You can upgrade uh, so upgrade needles as well. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. It seems it just it's a. Uh, I think it would specify right. So 15 damage, and it adds a needle, which is good. But I'm just wondering. I feel like this card kind of does everything I want in one turn, so having it do more on that turn seems pretty good. So I'm going to upgrade the Expanding Border. Also, chat, this card was... This was the Brick Chain card, right? This was this was the card that I invested in the Brick Chain. <laughs> this is my non-refundable Reimu. I, I, gotta, I gotta, you know, Copium. This is the good card. The best card. So we're going to upgrade this. Okay. Thank you, Yukari. 
All right, so an elite enemy, huh? Oh shit! Today we'll show Rainbow just how powerful we are. Direct sunlight. The enemy intends to release a spell card. Status. Deal 11 damage to the player. Uh, I can't tell what that does though. I can put up my tiny hitbox. If I put up my tiny hitbox, I'll dodge it, right? Spell cards will still do damage, uh, have a damage number if they do damage. So that's not an attack then. That's a, that's a debuff, huh? In that case... Put the block up for Luna. And I can... Let's see, I can deal 10 damage or I can deal 10 damage and add a needle to my hand. But question is, chat, who are these three is the scariest? Luna has the most HP. But I don't know what they all do. Hmm. No, one of them has to be scarier than the other. I'm gonna attack Sunny. Now I have Needle, which I can throw out right now if I wanted to. Or I can just do a regular shoot. I'll just toss a Needle. Okay. Exiled cards, yep. Oh, work in progress. One damage, unplayable eternal. Okay. Let me see. Unplayable ethereal. While in hand, the other turn, Rainbow takes five damage. I see. Okay. Ascension kick. I don't have damage cards, but this I don't retain, so. Now I have damage cards. Let's see. 11, 11. Hmm. Hold on. If I if I take the full brunt of Star's attack, I can take out Sunny. Yeah, if I if I'm willing to take 11 from Star, I can take Sunny out right now. Other Actually, now that I think about it, even if I invested in block here, I would still take damage anyway, and I wouldn't be able to attack back. So Sunny's going down. Okay. Moonlight. 11. Okay. So what was that she added? Uh, there it is. When drawn, lose one random mana. Okay. Well. Oh, sh yeah. Uh. Get in there right now. Nice. That's a good card. <laughs> All right, now, now I'm at the mercy of their shenanigans. Yeah, oh God. Okay, what I got? Draw card, 10 power. Game block, 14 damage. I can take star out. Okay. And I still have mana to burn, but she's not attacking anyway, so there's no reason, so I'll just end the turn. All right, don't draw Sunny's cards. Okay, I didn't draw Sunny's cards. That uh, might be enough, actually. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Exhibits, heavy bass drop. Whenever three defense cards are played in a turn, deal five damage to each enemy. Huh. I could take everything, right? So, so the the elite enemies give you exhibits, right? That's why I wanted to fight the elite enemies, and I can take everything. Okay, let's get the card first. What we got? Ability cards. 
Building cards can provide continuous effects for the player. They only be played once per combat and are removed out of being played. Choose one of three random uh, attack or defense cards to add to your hand. Gain two firepower if an attack card is chosen, or two spirit if a defense is chosen. Spirit increase. Spirit increases block and barrier gain from depending. So, there, okay, so there's an increase for that as well. <laughs> nice art. I see. Alright. Uh, so, grants a continuous effect till the end of combat. Each copy of an ability card can only be used once per combat. So, wait a minute, chat. Uh... How does this work exactly? So, I play it... Hold on, let me figure out how this works. So I play it, it lets me choose uh, a card... Three random cards, uh, attack and defense cards from my hand. I get benefits for each one chosen. But how does it work exactly? Is that like a one-time effect? Because it says it can only be played once per combat, right? So, but it doesn't exile itself. Oh, the effect lasts forever. Oh, okay. So the firepower and spirit ink lasts for the rest of the fight after using the card. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. I get it. There's another ascension kick. Maiden waltz. Draw three cards and upgrade them until the end of... Wow. <laughs> upgrade them until the end of combat. That sounds really good. But this card also sounds really good. Ah. Oh. Uh, fuck, man. Let's go with attack stacking, I guess. Alright, give me the heavy bass drum. During the incident, the players may find exhibits left behind from the exposition. That have powerful and continuous effects are mostly found by the elite enemies, supplied by A and Tay, obtained during friendly encounters, or purchased in the store. Okay. Like, all these cards sound good. That's the thing, right? I'm having analysis paralysis. Race and supply. Uni. Hi, thank you. Hard work. Master money provides supplies. High-tech glasses from the outside world. Rewards from combat give 25% more money. Parasol of gaps. The start of the player's third turn each combat. Gain 15 block and gain 2 rainbow mana. The damage reduces block. Wait a minute. At the start of the player's third turn, each combat represents one mana to all the colors. So that's two free extra mana, right? Uh, after every third turn. And a free 15 damage block on the third turn. This one uh, synergizes with my money stuff, but honestly, I'd rather have the extra mana. I'll take the umbrella, yeah. Thanks a lot, but why don't you go in after the culprit yourself? Haha, <laughs> I'm a bit busy lately. Why does Aente's middle manager also have to work as a janitor? Alright. Oh, I can't see what happens. Oh, yes, I can. Uh. Chat, I can do two events into a shop. I can do two events into a shop. A gap upgrade is present. I have 65 money. I don't have much cash, no. I really don't. I, sp I got a big bag, but then I remember I spent 100 on that border. It's not my money? What? Are you sure? Hmm. Close the map? How do I do that? Click anywhere off the map to close it. I have 117. I have 117, chat. 117. I've never been to the shop, so I don't know how prices look. Oh, does they? There's one final gap at the end as well. Hmm. Yeah, I could... I could do a enemy-enemy gap, and then I can use this to heal if it's bad, but I can all- this way I can get cards, upgrade two cards, and- or upgrade a card and be able to be, have HP. 
and I'll be able to milk some money from them from next time. I, I assume? This is a hard call to make, but I also like the events because they're funny, you know? The events are funny. <laughs> but let, let's, let's, let's go try hard for now. Black butterfly, so that's 36. Okay. Attack and a debuff. Oh, there it is. Uh... Uh... Oh shit, it really is random. Those aren't my cards. <laughs> Pagoda's Glare. Uh... Deals 15 damage to each enemy, upgrade two random cards, attack cards first. Well, I can't use them because of how much that cost. Gain, I can't use that one either. I, I, I can't use them, chat. Whatever one I pick, it's just for the buff, but I don't have enough mana to use them right now. <laughs> uh, be prepared to be hit before threatening to hit others. It goes into the later draw. Oh, so it doesn't... Wait, it doesn't get added to my hand? No, it says add to the hand. It's fine, they don't exile. Okay, well, I, I get that, okay. Upgrade two random attack cards first. Spell card duel. Uh, I'm gonna take the rat card. So now I have one of each. I could attack, or I could block the damage. And eat the debuff. I have firepower now that's permanent, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna block. The blue one's not gonna go away. Nine times two. While in hand, the other turn maybe loses two life. Wow, that is amazing. The art in this game is fantastic. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, not bad. I don't need that, though. Because I, I just got this. <laughs> Alright, let's crack that barrier, shall we? All right, it's broken. I am gonna take two for that. But now her barrier's gone. I just got my gap umbrella. I got two mana. She's not even gonna attack me. 12 damage, 12 damage, 12 damage. Hold on. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. That was a good turn. Wow, that was a good turn. Focus light, what's this? Madness. Magical light shines over everyone, driven by madness. Black butterflies' actions are amplified. Gain curse at the start of Raymu's turn. She has block of 16 and is going to attack for 12. I'm one damage short. <laughs> That's gonna do 19 damage. Wait, am I? No, wait. No, I'm not short. No, that'll kill her. That'll kill her. That'll do 19. She blocks 16. Yeah, that'll kill her. That'll kill her. What, why do- Wait, what the heck? Oh, I have a extra mana here, a darkness mana. Huh. I did it. Money and cards. All right, what do we got for cards? Duplex barrier. Gain 12, deals 12 damage. If Raymo has barrier instead, deal 12 damage twice. And then Yokai Buster Wandering Heaven. <laughs> Gain 10 block, upgrade a card in the hand until the end of combat. Hmm. Too light. Deal 12 damage, remember his barrier, instead deal 12 damage twice. So if. So I can do 24 if that synergizes with a block card. Or I use 2 fire for another Buster. How do you check the upgrade? 
Oh. Gain 10 block, upgrade all cards in the hand until the end of combat. Holy shit. I didn't mean to click that. Where's my undo button? That was the wrong click. I meant to right click that, not left click. Well, that's in my hand now. Shit. There's no undo button. I just have to eat it. <laughs> I just gotta eat that. That was, a... that was bad. Graze, vampire, bat gains equal to unblocked damage. They all have graze and bite. Attack, debuff, attack. New Year's visit. Hmm. Graze will go away, so... Five block to offset some damage. Or I attack early and do seven. Lose two life, deal 20 damage. Wow. Uh, deal 12 damage to each enemy. Enemies with barrier or block or damage damage twice. Gate 8 block and 8 barrier. This card is affected by firepower. Hmm. Crimson energy release. I don't have it to do anything with it. I guess I just put block up. It'll block 7, so it's not bad. That's fine. Echolocation. Marked. Take two more damage from attacks, lose one long start turn. Okay. Now they're all attacking me. Uh, seven block, five damage. That's twelve. A block of twelve. Eight, eight. Eight. Wow. That one's got less HP. <laughs> okay. Still getting hurt. Now they're preparing. That one's preparing Graze again. For each. Wait a minute. Chat. If I do... The rainbow ones count for everything, right? So if I were to do this... And use this... I should be able to then play this. Oh, but it only attacks one thing. Oh, shit. Uh, in that case... Well, you're dead. And you're dead. Above the realm. Attack. And white. Okay. Choose one of three random attack cards to add to the hand. It temporarily costs zero. Oh. That sounds amazing. Deal 11 damage at a yin yang orb. Deal 8 damage, gain 8 barrier, exile, and retain. And then exile up to 3 cards from your hand and gain 6p. And then it's exile itself. The operation was named Land Instrumentality Project. Hold on. Temporary mana cost charge. The mana cost this card changes until at least. Chat, hold on. This, this one gives me a card and makes it zero cost. This one, however, this one, however, does 11 damage and gives me something that does both 8 damage and gives an 8 barrier. But the barrier is good, but right now I'm not really stacking barriers. It doesn't go anyway. Poke Monster get does it. Cost 1. No, it says temporarily cost 0. See? This thing costs uh, a fire and 1. 
and it adds a card, and that card temporarily causes zero, but it exiles itself, so I can only do it once. This takes two, the Ying Yang Orb takes two, the Ying Yang Orb exiles itself, but it stays in my hand until I use it. The thing is, the eight barrier is nice because it, it persists, but the thing is, I'm not really looking for things to persist past my attacks, I'm just looking for as much defense as possible. I can check the upgrades. Yeah, if I click the right fucking button this time, maybe. Deal 15 damage. And it takes two regardless of what it is. This takes one. If I upgrade it. I want this card. Chad, I want this card. I think this card's good. I think that card's good. Whoa. Alright. Now the gap. And I'm gonna upgrade it right away. Wait, hold on. What's the New Year's visit? Gain three if an attack. Okay, so that plus one. I think I want to upgrade this though. The one I just got. To make it so it only costs one mana. Because I might get a really good card out of it. And it will be free use. So it costs one mana for... Essentially one mana for a ridiculous card. Maybe. I almost have enough uh, gauge for that. Deal 15 damage three times. It can't be grazed. I'll have that ready for the boss. Now, I might have to use the heal, depending on how bad this goes. Odin. That's a cute heavy bass drum you got there, sis. I really want it. Summon the enemy tends to summon additional enemies to combat. Ring can revive three vengeful spirits. One is added every two turns. Number three, defense cards are played in a turn to deal five damage to the enemy. Man, I really pulled this with this, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, that works, because I can do this. And then I can use this. Add a card, and I can attack with whatever- What the fuck? Hakurde's evilest orbs. Deal seven damage three times. While in hand, whenever a card is drawn, except during the draw step, increase this card's damage by one. So whatever card I pick here, chat, it's free to use. Deal eight damage to the enemy. I ran maybe two times. Rainbow's barrier gain fire. Accurate. So this lets me do 21 damage, essentially, for nothing. All right. And we're halfway there on the first turn. Now would be a good time to have that expanding card. Duplex barrier. What's this? The enemy intends to detonate the, the enemy with the least life. Detonate. Summoner is defeated. All the summoners defeated too do not trigger death effects. So if I kill, uh, okay, if I kill Rin, she's gonna detonate the one with the lowest HP, which will be him at the end of the turn. Hmm. Alright. Frail. Rainbow gains 30% less block and barrier from card effects until the end of the turn. Free card. Oh wow, okay. This is also my Yukari turn as well, so... Nine, fourteen, twenty-three, thirty-seven, forty-seven. Do I have enough mana for all that? Three mana, five mana. I have enough mana for all that. I could just kill her, yes. I could just kill her.
Wow. <laughs> Tactical Conductor. Skill cards cost one less mana. Cool. What do we got? This one again. Uh, cleansing Ritual. Gain 15 block, exile a random card in the hand. Huh. Oni Spirit Bomb. <laughs> deal 30 damage, then deal half that much damage to all their enemies, but lose 2 firepower. <laughs> I see. The big bomb. And 12 block, 12 reflections. Card is affected by firepower. Why does it say unfinished? Is that me referring to the artwork? I'm assuming that's what it means. Upgraded. It costs one less, but it turns the barrier when it's upgraded instead of block. Okay. Exile a card in the hand. I get to choose. That's actually pretty good if I have a bunch of uh, junk cards. And Oni Spirit Bomb. 36. It's just a raw damage upgrade. 36 and 18. Okay. I don't want to lose firepower. I can- uh, chat, I only- I only lost 9 HP at the- and I'm going to Yukari, so I can upgrade this. I think I might want to get this one. Uh, cause I can upgrade it. If I upgrade it, it costs 2 and it gives me barrier, which will actually work with that card I grabbed by accident. I will upgrade it because it's- the next thing is Yukari. Because I, I was originally planning to heal there, but I only have... I only lost 9 HP, so I'm fine. I think I'm going to get this one. Okay. Alright, so I didn't upgrade the New Year's, which is fine. I still have some basic cards that are doing their job. And yeah, I want to upgrade this one to make it Barrier. Because Barrier is permablock. And I have a card that works with that if I actually manage to draw it. I can use this now, currently. I don't need to heal. I have money. So let's go to Daze. Dialogue work in progress. Okay. I have no choice but to fight. Skill cards take one less to use. Do I have any skill cards? I don't even remember. Oh, that one's a skill card. An ability card. Oh. Ah. <laughs> My one skill card, chat. My one skill card. It's the one that I upgraded to get the zero cost. Hmm. Rainbow Star Stream, Might Makes Right versus Firepower will never be lower than Raymus. Okay. Above the realms car is also cheaper. Was it? Oh, you're right. It's free now. Yeah, because I, I, I lowered it to one, right? Now it's free. Okay, never mind. That's great. That's fantastic. What am I doing here? Uh, kind of a bad hand, but I can block... I can damage her and block, so... Or it's a start, I guess. Hmm. Well, on hand, the other turn maybe takes five damage. Oh shit. Okay, I got the spell card, dual card, got the rabbit's foot, ten damage, ten damage. Hmm. Okay. 7 damage times 2. Why not? Reflection. When attack, deal damage back to the enemy attacker. Remove this effect. Okay. Alright. Next is Meteor Shower. 
Oh, nice. Big bang attack. And temporary fire power up. Okay. Pop it. Wait a minute, chat. I have a question. So this one specifies for light and fire, but this rainbow energy, is it everything at once? So, if I sacrifice the rainbow energy, does it gain an effect for both the defense and the attack? So if- okay, so I could just go ape shit with that card then, right now. Alright. <laughs> Alright, sure. Wow, I just did 55. Yo, Michael, that was a good card. <laughs> All right, above the realm, choose from one of three random cards, edit temporary costs, okay. Oh, this is a skill card as well, it only costs one fire. Status and countdown, the enemy unleashes and tender spell card for two more turns. Well, I can put an ability card out first. I think I'll do that. Uh, will I? Yeah, I will. Go to Sclare. Dimensional Point Rift. Deal six damage. Whenever Rainbow loses a buff, return this card from the discard pile to the hand. Or another spell card duel. Hmm. It's free damage. You know what? It's free damage. I have two more. Choose one of three random cards to attack. Uh, attack cards typically cost zero. Deals eight damage. So I can attack right now with this. I can play this. Let's see. Rare. Deals 16 damage. Skill cards cost less, one less this turn. Dream Seal Blink. And... <laughs> Deal 16 damage, end the turn. Then Rainbow takes an extra turn with Time Surge 1. Huh. That is a big cost. Deal 15 damage, apply 1 weaker vulnerable. <laughs> extra turn. Okay. Time Surge. Tell the enemies next turn cards cost more mana to play. Okay, well, I'm gonna take it. Then I'm gonna play this. That'll hit her. And then I can use this. Okay. And I got my card back. And I get an extra turn, because I lost a buff. Now everything costs one more, and my deck was shuffled. And I have this again. <laughs> I have this card again. Uh, everything costs one more. Except this one because it's a it's a fair amount. So if I put all of my fire into this because she's still not attacking me. And I can use the last light energy I have to do this, do eight damage, and then this is gonna disappear, and then I'll get the card back at the end of the turn. No, okay. That wasn't the that wasn't the buff. The enemy intends to gather strength for a powerful move. One more turn. Block is useless here. Maybe just lay it on thick, I guess. Okay. Alright, so... Magic Cannon, Final Spark. The enemy intends to release their spell card, dealing 40 damage to the player. Oh, no. Uh... Fuck you. Fuck you. Bad hand. Bad hand. <laughs> And I got it all back. Look at that. What do we got here? Great Tengu's Barley Rice. Add yell add light to the mana base. After every three combats, the player gains 50 power. 
Izanagi object. The start of the player's turn, gain one random mana. Elite combat rewards an, a, a, an additional exhibit. What the fuck? Mini Hakuto. Adds fire to the mana base. Cards unique to Marissa are added to the card pool. Whenever fire is spent to play an attack, the player gains one charge. The player has eight or more charges they enter burst. When the player just burst, gain three rainbow. All their attacks deal two times as much damage. Whoa, Jesus. Uh, fuck, those are all good. So the, this object gives me one of the random mana, which is great. This one adds a fire mana specifically, and fire mana usage now increases a gauge to increase more mana. And then this one is uh, adds light to it. But every three combos you get, so that's like a spell card launcher. Every three combats, the player gains 50 power. Well, you get charge whenever you spend fire mana. All of Reimu's attacks cost fire mana. You need eight to enter the, the, the mate. But extra relics are also good, yeah. This is an additional fire? Hakuto unlocks Marissa cards. Yes, I see that. Get it. Uh, but this this object seems really good too, right? Yeah, the random man is only good for gray objects, but also has an additional exhibit. At the start of the player's turn, gain one random mana, but that's each turn, right? Actually, no, because this is always going to be a fire. I think this is the way to go, chat. I think the mini Hakuto is the way to go. No, I think I think having fire is better because I have so many fire like Reimu's element is fire So having an additional fire element. I this is the way to go Discover cards through card rewards. What you only find cards and card rewards meet the following criteria the, the, the uh, unique card Okay example plays Reimu you hold the dark Wimar philosopher stone and miracle mallet You trade a legendary exhibit and in the mana base hold what I what does any of that? Well, okay, I don't know what any of that fucking meant I'm taking this card Take the money. Take the card. What do we got? Oh. Hakure Illusion. Whenever Reimu exiles a card that isn't Persuasion Needle, add a Persuasion Needle to the hand that temporarily costs zero. Oh. <laughs> that takes everything, and it's an ability card. Uh, or... Orari Sun? Uh, that's spelled wrong. Wait. Is that correct? Chat. Is that correct? I don't think that's correct. I know it's I I I E S, but like is is that correct? The <laughs> uh, Marissa card. The start of Raymu's turn, gain two charge. Grants a continuous effect at the end of combat. Each copy of an ability card. So this one's also good. Each copy of an ability card can only be played once per combat. Raymu's eight more charge. Enter first. Okay. Grants a continuous effect. The start, so every, wait a minute, so this gives me two charge at the start of every one of my turns, right? Isn't that really good? And then this one, uh, deal 12 damage, expel, gain 20. This one's cool, but it takes everything I have. But this one is exactly what the Hakuro is like designed for, right here. You can burst like every turn. Alright, yeah. I'm taking- I'm taking Mr. Ordity and his son. Thank you. Alright, so now we're at the start. So what do we got, chat? Uh... What do we go for? So there's enemy, enemy event, enemy event, enemy, elite, there's a shop. I- What's this? Trade. I haven't been to a shop yet. And I have 346 money. Shop is good, but Elite is good too. Oh, you know what? Let's do it next time, because there's a shop into it, Elite. So let's, uh... Let's go... Hmm. I'm dodging gaps, though. Yeah, I kind of want to visit a gap. But if I visit a gap, it's enemy, 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 gap. Hmm. But I'd, I'd like to get to the gap. But I want to see an event, you know? Because the events are funny. Fuck. Uh... 
thinking, okay, so I want to visit the shop on the second run. You know what? Let's let's do the bottom run and visit the gap because the next one I want to do, I want to do, uh, I want to do a bottom run. Enemy, enemy, shop, elite. So we'll do enemy, 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 gap. Okay. Also, because now I can get Marissa cards, this is a way to pile on some more Marissa cards as well. So let's do that. So let's go down. What the hell? Purifier, scouter. Ne uh, negates the next debuff. Negates the next debuff. Okay, this one plans to attack. Oh, I got the card. At the start of Rainbow's turn, gain two charge. When Rainbow's has eight or more charge, okay. 12 barrier, 12 reflection. Okay. Reflex, bond an unplayable card, debuff with attack coming, New Year's Festival, Ascension Kick, Duplex Barrier, I don't have a barrier anymore, I'm locked on, Solar System, right, Charge, so I have three charge currently. Anything that uses fire, draw a card, three temporary power, nope, wait a minute, chat, I have a question. Is it per fire mana used? So if I use two fire mana for this card, does it add two charge? Or is it just any card that has fire mana will only add one? That, I, I, I forgot to check that part. Maybe it's in the, maybe it's in the tool tip. Rainbow has eight or more uh, charge. Rainbow has burst, Rainbow has burst. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, whenever, whenever fire is spent to play an attack. Okay, so it's not how much, it's whenever it's spent. I got it. Okay. Only fire mana used on attacks, yeah. So tiny hitbox doesn't work, nor does a New Year's visit. I'm just thinking what I want to do here. Binding barrier, deal 15 damage, Rainbow's barrier, add one, apply a vulnerable and a accurate. Okay. Homing amulet, deal 8 damage to a random enemy two times, Rainbow's barrier, gain of fire. Do I have barrier right now? I don't think I do. And gain 15 block and exile a random card from your hand. Uh. What do I have right now? I can play... I kind of want to play, uh... I'm going to take this one. Because I want to play it now. Deal 20 damage. And I want to use this to get Graze to dodge their coming attacks. Okay, there we go. I'm on turn three. Yokai Buster. Okay. Twelve damage. I have a bunch of additional mana, but I don't have a card to attack with it. <laughs> wow, that stinks. Oh, that stinks! Alright, well. Oh, he's got a barrier now. Asteroid Belt deals 7 damage 2 times. The last card played this combat was red, gained 3 charge. We got Maiden's Aerial Dance, gain one graze, draw one card. Oh, there's the card I just used. Oh shit, it's this one again. Chat, it's this one again. Uh 
10 damage two times. And that's it, just a damage upgrade. Upgrade all cards in the hand until... This card seems really good. This, this card seems really, really, really good. <laughs> if I can upgrade it. Hmm. Uh, uh... I think I'm gonna take this. Ten money. There's an upcoming gap. I know. I know. That was the whole point of this route, was for the gap at the end of it. Rock. Abandoned Keystone takes three less damage from unblocked attacks. Okay, so it's a natural defense of three. Eight damage, eight damage. Some player players protected by Keystone taking two less damage from unblocked attacks. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Of the realm. Orb. Uh, blink. And homing amulet. Well. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right, upgrade a random card in my hand. Uh, I could... I Hold on, I could try to exhaust my hand to the point where the only card that could upgrade is this one. Deal 20 damage. It takes one less to play. So I, that'll just be a damage upgrade. Uh, 20 block will get me where I need to be. And then I'll have... Let's see, I'll have two fire left. To play Talisman of Dreams. You know what? I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna play this. And I'm gonna play this. Upgrade a card in your hand. Okay. It doesn't tell me. I could just do more damage. I thought it said random. I forgot I got to choose. This, they both add four more damage. Oh, that one's five, actually. So that would be the better upgrade in this case. Yeah, because that one's free anyway. Put this. Three grays. No. Okay, 15 damage. Okay. Now I have needles, and I play blink. Now I have overcharge, and I have expanding barrier. Oh yes. Michael, it's your birthday. Cake and ice cream are on the way. <laughs> I'm gonna bust a nut. Hmm. Do I have barrier? No, I have block. Ten block, ten reflection. I just put block up for nine. Entrench body. Okay. No, I'm holding that card because it's gonna go through the. Well, maybe I played that wrong. I could use the mana to do two damage. You know what? I'm just gonna take the, the damage. Why not? I'll take the two and go to the next turn. Alright. Free kicks. Draw a card. And that is game. Nice.
Cards, permanent border, uh, zero. When retained, deal four damage to a random enemy. While in hand, whenever Rayma loses a buff, increase damage by two. Hanima front plus. Wait, what? Just a random upgraded card? Deal zero damage while in hand. Whenever an attack card is played, this card damage becomes that card's damage. Or I can get another. Hold on, chat. It's a skill card, so because of my relic, it'll be zero. So I can. It'll be zero. It'll cost zero. So hold on. How does this work? When retained, deal four damage to a random enemy. While in the hand, whenever Rainbow loses a buff, this card's damage. Uh, increases card damage by two this combat. So, wait a minute, is that just passive four damage? It just sits in your hand doing damage constantly. But this card, because of my relic, will be free, and it's a free card plus a, uh, with a plus three damage. When you keep it, it does free damage every turn. Mmm, that sounds really good. A passive four damage? That sounds really good. But also, when a buff decreases, it does extra damage. Mm, uh, I'll go with it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Next battle. One girl. Drown girl. Ha <laughs> Dongers. Dongers. Tidal wave doesn't matter. Debuff coming. What do I got? Heaven to upgrade a card above the realms. Free card. I can upgrade one of these. Lightning laser. Oni spirit bomb. 61. I can deal 30 with that. 16 gain 16 barrier. This barrier gain is affected by burst. And 15 damage if Rainbow has barrier. So this will be free, chat. This is free to use. And I can also upgrade it with my other card. That reduces the cost. This just does 6 more damage. And that does 2 more damage. Or 4 more damage. I kind of want to drop a bomb on her. This is uh, six times three, right? Yeah. Okay. Take this. My love, my anger, and all of my sorrow. She didn't even die. <laughs> Card time. Another kick card. Flammable laser. Deal 16 damage overdrive 2. Deal that much damage twice instead. Activate it if the player has at least X charge. Consumes that charge. So, oh, hold on. That's upgraded. So, am I reading that? If I read that right, that says if I have charge of 2. And this will do 32 damage. Is that what that's saying? Okay. And this is a uh, block and static charge, but it's really expensive. I'm taking the flammable laser. <laughs> I'm taking the laser, dude. Alright, right, Yukari, our HP is full. We're gonna upgrade. What do we got? So, I think this is the one I wanted to upgrade, because it upgrades... When I use this when it's upgraded, it makes upgrades all cards in the hand. Yes, that's insane. That makes that free. That's also kind of insane. But it's definitely this one. Definitely Wandering Heaven Plus. This card's nuts. Okay. Alright, chat. Now we're at What's this guy? I can take possession of items that you no longer need. 
sell. Sell the parasol of gaps. Sell the tactical conductor. Uh, can you buy the drum? I don't really use the drum. <clears throat> yeah, that's not worth it. I'd rather sell the drum because it's not doing anything for me, but the, the umbrella is great, and this thing is definitely going to put in work where you least expect it. I'm fond of all my items. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good riddance then. <laughs> Alright, chat. So the plan here. What was the plan here? Uh, the plan here was enemy, enemy, shop, elite. That was the plan. So let's... Let's do it. Enemy, enemy, shop. What do we got? Phone bill. Rabbit Trickster collects 10 for every phone call. Will drop 0 when defeated. Keystone protection. Debuff. Alright, so the rock's in the way. I'm gonna take 17 damage. Bub the realm. Uh, deal 12 damage and gain 20 money. It's free. It's free? It's free money, but am I, am I greedy? Lose 2 life, deal 20 damage, or I can get charge. Expel. Activation of this card's effect defeats a non-summon enemy. Oh, it has to kill. Okay, yeah, I'm taking Asteroid Belt. Okay, so deals 7 damage uh, times 2 if the last player combat card was red. Increase it by 3. Nothing I have used this barrier, so... Wow, I have no barrier cards. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have nothing to protect me. <laughs> Which means you have to die, son. And you must die. 10, 10, or 12. Well, 12 is just the better option here. I'll take my needle. Fuck, I don't have any defense cards. So I'm gonna take, uh... That's mo Excuse me? Pay 40, the rabbit trickster immediate exits immediately. <laughs> okay. Wait, why is two of my mana bricked? Next turn, purify. Start Raven's next turn, purify to remove this effect. Convert most of the abundant mana color. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. So my fire mana has turned into neutral mana. So I could only use... But we're gonna put that up. 10 block. Put that up. And... This will kill it. This will kill the, the keystone. Okay. Alright. That thing's gone now. And I have... One more I can use. I can gain block. I currently am blocking 10, or I could get some chip with 6. Uh, honestly, I don't want to take any more damage than I need to. So let's just remove all the damage. I got the barrier card and the ability. Mmm. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Gotta love it. Another kick card. Deals 15 damage and frame most barrier. I'm taking the kick card for real this time. Chad, I think I need some defensive cards. Or I'm gonna get my ass beat. Need some defense cards. Uh oh. Blue orb. At the end of blue yin yang orbs turn, gain one spirit. Spirit increases the effect of block. Then this is gonna be firepower, isn't it? Yep. 
Oh, they are gonna attack me for a lot. Oh boy. 12 barrier, 12 reflection. Five block. Ah. Uh. Twelve barrier. Two grays. <laughs> you cannot hit me. You can't hit me. I got the drum effect uh, as well for everything, so that's nice. All right. What do we got? Wandering Heaven, Ascension Kick, Amulet, Oreo Sun. Okay, well, Ascension Kick first. Nice. Wandering Heaven. Everything's been upgraded. So this is free now. This costs 2 and does 17 damage. And if I use 2 charges, it'll do twice as much damage. What's my charge at? I don't have charge right now. I have a block of 10, which will stop that. Okay, and now I have turn three benefits, but a really not great hand. 11 damage is not enough to kill. Actually it is, it will kill uh, that one if I hit it. Because at the end of my turn, this will activate. Wow, so upgrading, chat, upgrading this card in my hand and since it's permanently in my hand, it's always going to do more damage. Look at that. Every time I lose a buff, it gets stronger. This card's busted. What the fuck? <laughs> Just nine per turn? I didn't earn that. Could make use of the extra mana at least. But it's going to get vaporized by that. Nine to a random enemy. Good thing I picked the right one, huh? Alright. I'm now bursting at the seams. Literally bursting, yep. Spirit Bomb, Red Star Explosion. Deal 60 damage to each enemy. Overdrive 3, deal that much damage to each enemy twice instead. 6 damage, and Rainbow loses a buff. Return this card. Ah. Uh... Ten. Twenty-eight damage if Raymo has a barrier. Raymo doesn't have a barrier. Ten block, Kami Aura, Final Spark, deal thirty damage to <laughs> each enemy. Accurate. Do I have enough for that? Yes, I do. Bask in Stardust. Gain fifteen block. Raymo has no charge. Bro, I can just fire this. I can just fire this right now. Two fire, that takes five, yeah. 68 damage. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Bruh. What do we got? Gain one concentration and draw three cards. Uh, the next one or more overdrive effects does not cost charge. Oh, wow. Bro, I'm actually just- I'm playing as Reimu, but I'm just- Marissa's crazy. Marissa's hella fun. I'm turning into Marissa. Out of yin yang. I'm gonna take this orb card, I think. Maybe. Let me see. Check. It's a skill card, and because I have one less, it's actually free, so- it I would be foolish not to take hand warmer. I'm just becoming Marissa. That's it. <laughs> just Marissa now. All right, shop time. Over here, dear customer. 
Okay, tool cards can be removed from the game after they run out of uses. Okay. Uh, tool. This card does not discard it when draw- wait, what? Cards are colorless and have limited after playing and removed from the library. What is- Exile a card from the hand. Limited one, retain, replenish. Replenish when drawn, draw a card. So basically that's a free draw. That's a free draw if you draw it. <clears throat> uh, and tool. Apply three week. Okay. I, I, I know about removing. Chill. I'm reading the tool cards. Exile. Okay, so when you use these cards, they're exiled. When you draw them, you get an extra card so they don't actually cost any space in the deck. They're colorless, have limited uh, use after playing the card uh, X number of times is removed from the library. Removed from the library means removed from the deck, right? So it means I can only use this twice and then the card is gone permanently. This character attack deal. Okay. They cost money. Uh, the start of combat. Oh, that's the fucking. That's the cat. That's the Detective Conan watch. The Yeah, the Anastasia gun watch. That's the Conan watch. At the start of combat, apply one week uh, or vulnerable to each enemy. Okay. Peony Stone, when five fire is spent, deal five damage to each enemy. Resets at the end of combat. Wait, isn't that really good? Robot model. Start at, of each elite and boss game, one firepower. Oh, that's kind of expensive, though. Remove a card. Increase by 25 each time. Or I can buy a card. Barrier Slam. No, I'm looking... I, could, I need a... Secret Border. Choose one of three random defense cards to add to your hand. Temporarily cost zero. Chat, I need that. This is 50% off. Gain two concentration. Debut. Gain five life. Activates when the cards for a play for the first time each in combat. It's a heal card. But it's 50% off. Hold on, chat. Can I buy as much as I want? Or am I limited in my purchases here? Or can I just buy until my money is gone? Gain two firepower. I don't need that. Gain two charge, two firepower. Specs affected by burst. That's an ability. I could buy this. Hold on. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking how much okay so this card I like this card 12 block 12 reflection it's affected by firepower cost fire it's defense though this one costs a little bit more but it gives me a free defense card to choose from which can be really really good and this one uh, cost two heals five on the first use and gains two concentration which lets me use overdrive effects for free and it's also only 38 like money that's really cheap Aww. Oh yeah, it's only gonna cost one because it's a skill card. You're right. Same with this one. Oh yeah, okay. Give me give me this. Give me that. I'm buying that one. <clears throat> um Whenever five is spent, deal five damage to each enemy. So I have a question about this chat. This is also really good, right? Because this means every time five fire mana is used, including rainbow, I will do five damage for free, right? That's just free damage. That seems like a really good investment. I think I'm gonna buy that. And then I would like to remove a card. <laughs> uh, damage reduces block. That's costly. Ten. It turns into yeah. If I upgrade, it turns to different. But block is what it is. Uh, Kami gain ten block. This one creates uh block talismans, which I can always rely on. So I, I'm gonna buy this as well. And I'm gonna remove a card. What do I remove though? Chat, what should I remove? Should I should I remove shitty attack or shitty block? I know I should remove one of these, yeah, but should I remove an attack or a block? Cause the attack scales with firepower, right, at the very least, but I don't have a lot of block cards, and any damage I can block is better than nothing, right? Hmm. Let's go to the attack. All right. Oh, you can only do it once uh, per shop visit. Chat, I am now, I am now begging. Spare me a crumb. <laughs> Just but I'm, I'm broke. But you know what? That was a great first shop. That's fantastic. And now we're on an elite enemy. Oh, Kokoro. 
feel like a lot of my mats have gone missing recently. Okay. So they're, uh, I'm taking 24 damage. Summon, summon. Okay. Oh, that's a good card to draw. 10 block and talisman, 5 block. Yeah. Uh, 8 block, 8 barrier. I can afford that. Cards affected by firepower. Gain 18 block and it retains. Oh, yeah. I'm taking that then. Because that'll stay in my hand. But here I can do this. That's 12. How much am I taking? 17... I'm taking 24, so... Alright, now I'm taking no damage this turn. But I'm dealing damage because this. Nice. Eleven, seven, debuff. Matt, a glare, uh, still a playable card, okay. Wait, chat, this shouldn't cost anything, right? Because I have the... Skill cards cost one... Oh, it's neutral only, that's why. It, it, it's new... It, it only applies to uh, neutral mana, not uh, not regular. I know, I'm just sitting on fantasy seal, I know, but... <laughs> I might need two of them, you know? I might need two of them. It does help this one, though. It makes this one cost. Concentration. Or I could just expanding border all over the place, which I'm gonna do. Good cards, but uh I think I just wanna go ape shit with this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use one of them for healing. That'll kill the masks. One concentration and draw three cards. I saved one just so I could heal. I mean, I would have healed anyway from killing her, but whatever. Okay. And now she's the only target. Seven times three and a spell card is being prepped. She's currently got a block up as well. What am I affected by? Weak. Great moves do 30% less damage. Flammable laser. Deal 15 damage, overdrive twice as much. Tiny duplex. Start of Raymu's turn. Gain two charge. You can use that for free because of Yukari's turn. Additional five damage as a result of that. Duplex barrier. I I don't have a barrier. That's block. 11 damage. Overdrive 2. How, what's my charge at? My charge is at 1. 8 or more charge, they enter first. So if I do this... Now I have a charge of 2, which will let me use this and do twice as much damage. At the cost of 2 of my charge. Wait, no, it didn't use it. It's free from concentration. What? Next overdrive effect is- Oh, that lasts! Oh, I thought that was only for the turn. Oh, I thought that was only for the turn. So that's just- Wow, Marissa's bullshit, dude. She- <laughs> She- She's the most fun character in the game. Duplex barrier, emergency block. I can only do a duplex barrier. So I'll do that. I, maybe I should have grazed, because now I'm going to take damage for that. Because I can only block 15 of this. I'm going to take 6. Okay, what do I got? 16 barrier. Oh, there's barrier. Above the realm. Uh, 89. I could just chuck a spirit bomb at the mass to kill it. 
Uh, or I can apply... I'll have barrier activated if I use that, but I can use this to apply vulnerable and, uh... And make her take double damage. Or I can throw a, or I can throw a spirit bomb at the mask and get rid of it. I'm gonna take the bomb. Hmm. Hold on. Twelve block. Twenty block. I don't need that. 12 block is enough. At this point, I just want to... This will add barrier and reflection. Okay. An effect. And I can throw a talisman at Kokoro. And if I throw this at the mask, it'll kill it and do 17 to Kokoro. But, I could also just throw it at Kokoro herself, do 17 to that, and then the this card might kill it. So, let's do that. Nice. There's the Reflect. So now, she has 12 block, and she's going to use a spell card for 7 times 4. Oh my god. Alright, well... How about every card just gets upgraded right now? <laughs> Alright. Alright. What do we got? 26 block. That's actually perfect for this situation. If I can't kill her. This is free to use. This is free to use. Too big to fail. Game block equal to the number of cards in the draw pile. Gain 8 block and 8 barrier. Gain 15 block. Rainbow's no charge. Gain 4 charge. Otherwise, gain 2 charge. It's free to use. Hmm. What's my charge at? Charge is at 1, so I'll get 2 free charge. It's free to use, by the way. Uh, 8 block and 8 barrier. Chat, barrier is used second, right? Like, block... If you put block and barrier on, block is used first, right? And then barrier is used? Okay, I assumed as much, but I just wanted to be sure. So I'm gonna take Mailing's card. 11 each. I'm gonna use it. It's free. Emergency defense. Alright, now I have a 49 block. <laughs> and I'm just gonna throw shit at her now. You know what? I should have let her attack just to see. <laughs> I should have let her do it. One of her masks. Whenever three attack cards are played in a turn, the player gains one firepower. Fantastic. 32 money. Cards. Orb of duality. Ready for burst. <laughs> gain six block and gain two charge. And full moon howl. Apply three temporary firepower down and one vulnerable to each enemy. Nah, no. Orb of duality upgraded. Oh, this is an upgraded one. Oh. Gain two charge and six block. I, I want to get the orb because I got to remember I'm Reimu, you know? I'm still Reimu. Thank you for your hard work. Master told me to provide you with some... Oh, we got new stuff. Hina! Negate the two next two misfortunes added to the library two times. Okay, that seems... Okay. Unlocks a new option at gaps. You can add a random rare card to your library at a gap. Oh. Huh. Chat, is that good? Misfortunes are negative cards. I assumed, yeah. So it means the cards that are added to my discard pile, right? And then shuffled into my deck. It makes two of those disappear. This, however, seems interesting. So instead of upgrading a card, I can get a free rare card from, uh, from Yukari. <clears throat> Let's put the permanent ones. Oh, thank you for the raid. To a whole replay showcase. Thank you. 
so th this game is very addicting. This game is very addicting. It's uh, like Slay the Spire. And I'm currently playing a hybrid of Reimu and Marissa, and it's going so well that it is, you know, it's painting my, I, my opinion of this game very highly because I am winning. <laughs> so chat, what do you think here? Should I, should I get the Hina doll or should I go for this? Because this is a random rare card. I can't select which card it, this gives me, right? But I like going to Yukari for upgrades more than just a random rare card you know like i feel like if i play the gotcha here it's not a good idea yeah, i'd rather upgrade a rare than yeah it'll let you see more cards yeah i could just i could just leave hmm i do have a big deck yeah but yeah there's no reason to leave I guess I can just take the Hina doll, because it helps. It's a helpful effect, but the shiny bulb... Nah, I'd rather upgrade the cards I have. I'm taking the Hina doll. Thanks a lot, but why aren't you going for the culprit yourself? You know, some special circumstances on men who pay me overtime. All right, chat. Uh, we're going top. Enemy event gap elite. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right. Oh, it's a fucking keystone again. Alright, let's see what we got. Above the realm. Okay. <laughs> Evil ceiling circle. Deal 13 damage to each enemy. Flammable laser. Deal 12 damage. Deal 0 damage while in hand. Whenever an attack card is played, this card's damage becomes that card's damage. What do I have? Yin Yang Orb. And... That's not that much. I'll take the free 13 to everybody, I guess. <laughs> that's that's a good card. <laughs> I'm not Marissa. I'm not. I swear. All right, so activate the ability card. I'm taking a fat 40, dude. Uh. All right. Deal eight damage. A little bit of help, I suppose, and then just yeah. Okay, I am gonna get hurt, but I'll be fine. I can block eight, so I can block that, but I'm taking seventeen. What do we got? Talisman, Secret Border, Duplex Barrier, Block, and 11 damage. 15 block, 18 block. It's free to use this turn. What's coming? Uh, 19 damage is coming. So, we're taking that and we're applying that and we're not taking any damage this turn. This way, now I can actually attack. And I, I don't have barrier on, I have block. Uh, 13, I have to hit this thing twice. I can't use this because I don't have enough light. Oh shit. All right, I got the effect of the stone, I think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I do this, and I do this, I'll do five damage as a result of Raikou's drum and kill the fireball. Block the revenge bullets, and there you go. Nice. Fortune card added. Ability card, rabbit's foot. Persuasion Needle. She's got a 13 barrier. 18 damage is coming. What do we got? Uh, 10 block, 3 power. If I use that, I can reduce all the damage coming. Taking Battle Stance. 27 block. Yep. 
Okay. All right. And I got first, so I can... There you go. Fantasy Seal does not overcharge past 200, but it builds up pretty slowly, and I don't want to use it on a random enemy, so I'm saving it, but I'm saving it forever. And it means I'm never gonna use it, but better to have it than- Better to have and not need than to need and not have, you know? What do we got? Cleansing Ritual. Talisman of Dreams. Uh... Uh... Honestly, chat, I don't think I want any of these. I, I don't I don't think I want any of these because like this one's not bad but it uses all of my light for it even when upgraded and it exiles a random card that's too random I'm gonna yeah I'm just gonna take the money skip the card okay okay event time who's this oh hey Reimu you've encountered the Kappa drones right Holy shit, it's Raisin in... Wait, it's Ringo in Raisin's outfit. Copyright disputes between the Earth and the Moon. Those are copies of our patent in Lunar Capital. We hope you will help us defend our intellectual property. Help. Get card. EMP device. Deal 10 attack damage to the target is a drone. It cannot act for two turns. Get the three random tool cards. And misfortune. Forgetfulness. While in hand, at the end of the player's turn, gain one frail. Unplayable. Limited replenish. None of my business. Nothing happens. You can use the Hina doll here. So if I use the Hina doll, I'll get three random tool cards. And I won't get this card. So I can get three tool cards for free right now. Hmm. Okay, I'll I'll do that. All right, so I don't have to worry about the misfortune card, <laughs> but I can get three random uh, tool cards. So sure, and all tool cards come with replenish, so they're free draws. Do they? Do they all retain as well? They have replenish. I don't think they have retain. They're limited uses. Okay. Hoard them like a dragon. Gotcha. What's some moon rabbit ordering me around for? Do I teach you a lesson? No, 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 I wouldn't dare. Forget about me. You just met a rabbit on her way to buy some dongo. Oh, she's got the fucking flash to- Yep. Ringo takes out a strange stick-shaped instrument and waves in front of Raymu, dropping a bunch of stuff and fleeing. Huh? A moon rabbit buying dongo on Earth? How strange. Whoa, she left all these gadgets here. What do we got? The flashlight, uh, the intelligent sweeping bot, and ballistic shield. 25 free block. I can do it twice. This one can only be used once. Exile a card from the hand. I can only do that once. I mean, that yeah, that could be helpful. And weak. Character attacks deal 30% less damage. Alright, sure. And again, chat, they, they when you draw them, they have an innate effect that lets you draw again, so there's no reason not to have them. Alright. I actually have to pee real quick, chat, so enjoy Yukari for a little bit. I'll be right back.
Why? Jeez, chat. It's no wonder people like uh, Slay the Spire. This game, when you're winning, like just how how big can you get your numbers up? Pulling some heart of the cards level bullshit. Honestly, sometimes I, I click things and they activate different things that I'm not ready for and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the combos are great. I actually can't keep track of what causes what all the time. So like that last fight I did where I activated burst and killed with a 32 damage uh, persuasion needle. I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Like that just kind of happened and I was like, all right, we're rolling with it. <laughs> There's so much going on that adds into itself. All right, let's upgrade. I don't need to heal. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? Oreo Sun becomes free if it's upgraded. Uh, this card deals more damage when it's upgraded. Ascension Kick is already free. Uh, because of uh, my one of my relics, Secret Border. That's pretty good. Lowering the cost by one for that is good. I like that. That adds 12 barrier instead of block. But it doesn't change the card it gives me. That's... Hmm. This costs one less, but it already does because I have the uh, ability. So upgrading that is pointless. This increases concentration by one, which is good, but not amazing. Okay. Permanent border increases the base damage and the amount that increases each time I lose a buff. So that's really good. But the thing is, chat, I can, with the Heavenly Remnant, that can, that, when I get that card and this stays in my hand, this will upgrade on its own anyway, so I feel like, no need to do that. This card, however, becomes free if I upgrade it, from two to free, and adds two charge every turn. That seems really good, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know, chat, do I want, do I want Orderly Sun, or do I want Secret Border? This reduces cost to zero. This reduces cost uh, to one whatever. But it gives me... This one gives me a free... Hmm. Yeah, I need block. I need block. I do. <laughs> yeah, two mana to zero mana is a bigger upgrade. This card exiles and this card is an ability card. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right, chat. You're right. Or Oreo Sun is definitely better. Makes it free. Alright. Elite enemy time. Oh, Yuko. Ah. Yomu. Graze. Rokonkin. Yomu's unlocked attacks apply one lock on to the target. Character takes more damage from attacks. There's one lock at the start. So I'm going to take 12. Ascension kick, draw one card. Two grays. Or drive. Hmm. That adds barrier and reflection. Oh, wait a minute, chat. If I had upgraded this, wouldn't it be free? This card would have been free as well, because of uh, my my relic, right? Fuck. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm just thinking what I want to do here. I could apply Graze, and it would dodge both of these attacks for the cost of one. But these cards are going to disappear anyway, so... I could put Barrier up and have additional Barrier after, do 15 on Reflection. She's gonna apply Graze to herself, but I can also apply Block and reduce the amount she actually does to my barrier. Hmm. I want a barrier card from this. Block and barrier, there we go. 24 block, static charge. 8 block, 8 barrier, 6 block, 6 charge. More barrier. Coom. <laughs> what? All right. You got you got auto mod caught. Wait. I, all right. Sure. Don't worry about it. 
This will do five damage. I don't have any charge yet. Let's do 19. It'll disappear. I could use it now, or I could get 10 block, which will just... Hmm. Do I go for the 19 and take one damage? One to my barrier, or do I nullify that one damage and do five damage? Oh, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Nineteen damage or five damage and remove literally blocking one damage worth of uh, damage. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, fire the laser, Marissa. Fire the laser. Gives me a charge. That's one charge. Okay. Alright. One graze. Lock on takes one more damage from attacks. Oh, cause that that second one wasn't attack uh, blocked, so barrier doesn't count for block on this buff. Okay. All right. You can get a hint is that if you look at her items, who items? Block hand warmer. One concentration, three cards. Two concentration, five life. There's a heal. She has Graze active. Oh no, this card's here. Well, sure, why not? That'll block her. That'll block her and do a little damage. That's fine. Graze us back up. Debuff and spell card countdown. 17 raw damage. Now that's what you like to see. Draw one card. Oh, that's a good combination. Yeah. 12 barrier. That's additional block for one. Amulet, 17. She'll block one of them. Block that one. Do I take the block for the additional five? Sure. All right. 37 barrier at the moment. Eight times two. Spell card. Okay. I have barrier. Orb of duality. Still upgraded. Deal 12 damage twice. Okay. Okay. Alright, there's the yin yang orb. Takes two. 10 damage, 10 damage, or 8 with an extra barrier. Alright. Alright. 11 times 3. I can pretty much block the entirety of that. <laughs> There's Oreo. 2 charge per turn. However, my charge is currently at 6. What do we got? Boho! It's free! But it's free! <laughs> New Year's visit. Uh, I want to use the rest of my life for that. Okay. That 
That'll give me seven charge, then the needle will give me eight charge for a burst. Now that I'm bursted, I can press final spark and do 66 damage. Goodbye, Yomo. <laughs> Baba Booey. Exhibit Tengu Span. At the start of the player's first turn, uh, first turn each combat gain two grays. Yeah, okay. 35 money. Free card. What do we got? Crimson Energy Release. Gain 8 block and 8 barrier. Or another upgraded orb of duality. Hmm. Or just 13 damage. You know what's nice about this combination is it gives me another card that is also an attack card. So it adds to charge. This card is a twofer essentially on that. This however is good. Hmm, I think maybe I want more Orb of Duality. But this card, this card stacks with firepower in terms of how much it gives. Oh shit. Chat. Chat. <laughs> Streamer, get your hands off the game. I know how to play it. I can play it better. I don't know, they're both really good. I think, uh... I think I want the Ying Yang Orb. Because I will... I, like, the point is to burst more mana to use, right? So I need cards to actually make use of it. Alright, and now I'm back up to full H... Basically full HP, and I can upgrade another card. So, chat, uh... I think I should make Secret Border free, yeah. I think I want to make Secret Border free. So we'll do that. You know what's gonna happen, chat? I'm gonna- see- see all these great items up here that I'm getting? I'm not gonna have them next time I play, and I'm gonna feel so shitty. Like this right here, I love this. I love this relic. I never want to be without this relic ever again, but I'm not gonna have it next time I play. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do it. All right, boss time. Yuko. 340, starting with Expanding Warrior. I got two grays. Well, shit. Um... not attacking but I want the yin yang orb in my hand so I have the ability to put barrier up if need be okay this is what I wanted to draw the barrier Priorio 15 plus 15 plus 15 that'll immediately take them out Damage is 15 times. Only attacks one enemy, though. 24 damage is coming my way. Chen. 8 block. Start of Raven's next turn. Get 8 block. 18 block. Retain. figure out how to kill them. Hmm. Do I go for the enemies or do I go for Yiko herself? Yiko's gonna hit me with some crazy shit. Hmm.
damage circumvented. Above the realm. Lightning laser. Deal 16, gain 16 barrier. This barrier gain is affected by burst. That's... Yeah, that's better than the other two. Yeah. Spell card barrier, needle. New Year's visit. Wandering heaven. Uh, blazing star. 16 block. Block is not lost at the start of Raven's next turn. End of turn. Take an extra turn with Time Surge. But it's not free to use. I'm thinking that's a good one. It takes... However, it takes all five of my stuff, so I have to use it. Okay, well, I could do this. Yeah, this will take everything I have, but I can do this. She's grazed, unfortunately, so. Paint 18 barrier, okay. Dealing 10 damage to the player, that's it. Okay. Whoa. 30 damage twice, uh, instead. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm just thinking of what I want to do here. I'd like to hit Yiko, but her, her thing's in the way. six for three or I can get use three right here and get an additional block in my hand for emergencies no you know what that'll kill one ghost uh, 30% damage less That'll help. Didn't do that much. Concentration, one card. Draw one card. Concentration, one card. Three cards. Wonderful heaven. Overdrive too. I have concentration, so I can just hit her really, really hard. But I did. I I can do one more attack. To finish that thing off. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. And random shot. Kill the ghost. Law of morality. At the end of Raymo's turn, lose three life. Raymo can't gain life. Oh. I ran out of mana though. What was that? That's that's block. Okay. Twelve block, fifteen damage coming and a debuff coming. My barrier is more than enough for that. I have this now again. I Oh, you only draw three cards on debut. Okay. An 18 barrier. All right. 12 damage retained. She's going to do 15. I'll be able to take it. 
So I could just add the block here. Yeah, fuck it. Burst damage. All right, now I have three specials. Can't use that, but I can, however, use that and that. Oh yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Alright, what we got? Oni Wine Ball adds fire to the mana base at the start of the player's turn, gains temporary firepower equal to the number of attacks played la last turn this combat. Ice scale adds. Uh, uh, I don't want to. No, I'm not adding ice. I'm not adding a fucking blue element with no blue cards, dude. <clears throat> Whenever this an ability is played, two random cards in the hand temporarily cost one less. Adds darkness to the mana base. Defeated enemies no longer drop P. For each P that would have dropped into two money. No. <laughs> I mean, at that point, like, what's the, like, come on now. You will start drawing blues if you take it. Why would I want to start making an entirely new deck right now? Why would I do that? That is, hello? I'm not trying to branch out two hours and 30 minutes into a run. Give me more red. The best time is right, nope. Nope, I'm going all- I'm going red-yellow, dude. Red-yellow. X costs. Oh, thanks for the tutorial on this card I don't have. A card with the cost X of mana panel to sign it all mana- Yeah, I know how that works. <laughs> uh, what's this one? Game 5 barrier, return an exile card to the hand. Oh, that's- Huh. Deal 16 damage, kill cards, cost less, less, one less this turn. Uh, see, here's the thing, chat. This card, another one would be good, but the problem is if I have it in the same hand, if I have it in the same hand as my other one, then I can't use it. You know? Like, it's a fucking hilarious move, but it is a, it is definitely a end my turn card, right? So if I... If I have it twice over in the deck, I can use it twice as many times. But if I have it in the same hand, if I have both of them in the same hand, then uh, I can't use one or the other. So that's a bit of a shame. However, this card lets me return an exile card, aka the ones that let me put free cards in my hand, right? So this one lets me put, lets me take an exile card. So secret barrier. And above the like the horizon those cards that let me put things in my hand for free and exile themselves I can take those and put those back into my deck So that that's good. So I'm taking crossing the border All right, let's see what we got chat. What's the play? What's the play? Uh, I'm thinking I want to do I think I want to do enemy, enemy, event, Yukari. Enemy, enemy, event, Yukari. That sounds good to me. What's my money at? Three, thirty-two. Okay. I don't want to go to another shop yet, because last time I spent like four hundred. I do have some. Yeah, I do have some bad cards in there still, but I want to upgrade Secret Barrier. I want to upgrade Secret Barrier. There's an enemy, enemy, shop, enemy. But then there's like enemy, shop, gap. You know what? Maybe. You're, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Let's go enemy, event, enemy, shop. And then we'll go enemy, event, gap, elite. That'll be, that'll be the game plan. That'll be the game plan. Birds. Apex Speedster. After playing the first turn... Card of a turn, Crow Tango deals six damage to Reimu. Total evasion. Huh. Well, 
Well. I love that card, dude. I love that card! I can't believe I got that card as, like, my first event card. Seriously. Uh, barrier slam. 10 damage to this uh, equal to Rebus barrier. Oh. I don't have a barrier right now, though. 11 damage for free. 16. Increases cards damage by 4 this combat. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I'm gonna take the orb. Kinda weak. I'll take the orb. Why not? We're playing the first card of the turn. Cortex. She's gonna do six. Okay. Thank you for the raid, Christian. Uh, overdrive two. Okay. I don't have a barrier. So let's use this. This will give me a barrier. Okay. That gives me a barrier. So then I can use this. And that'll do 15 times two. And then I have three more, so I can use this. What to do? 40. Ah, oh, but I don't have enough to finish it. All right, I'm taking some damage. 10, 10 damage. Give me the Marissa heal card. Oh, you, you mother, you, you're the best. You're the best. You're just the best. You know that. You all right. All right. Good, good, good. Money card. Maiden's Aerial Dance plus one. One graze, two cards. New Year visit. Another New Year visit? Uh, I don't know. Seven times two. If the last card played was red, gains three charge. Hmm. This is called, uh, what's the title say? Toho Lost Branch of Legends. Have you ever heard of Slay the Spire? Card draw is very good right now. You know what? You're, I'm gonna take, uh, I'll take the grace. I'll take the, fr I'll, I'll take the evasion and the two cards. If you ever played Slay the, Slay the Spire, it, it's like that. I've never actually played that game, but I am having a very, very good time here. And I've been live with this for nearly three hours. It's got to cut into the other segment for sure. I might not be time for the other segment. I'm on this for so long. <laughs> oh, it's you. There you are. Master Eden's assistant. Allow me to lend you a hand. Recite prayer. Lose 10 life. Remove. Gain 2. Remove filth. Remove filth. A random card in the hand gains pure this combat. Removing its color meta cost component. Uh, Cool card, but... Seems, I don't know, I don't think I need that. Consume, increase max and by 16, gain misfortune, the moonscape. When drawn, purify one uh, uh, unplayable. Purify, convert X to the most abundant mana. Oh, but Hina will get rid of that, so I can heal and get 16 max HP up. Will it heal me as well? Or does it only increase my max HP? I think I'd rather use the Hina doll here to get rid of that. I, I can't stop Hina from getting rid of it, is the thing. But also, I don't think remove filth is that helpful to what I'm doing. Because I, I, my card costs... I could use some more yellow mana for sure, but <laughs> even then I'm kind of negating a lot of the cost on that. <clears throat> Random card in the hand gains pure this combat. Removing the color component. But it only does it for one card. Unless I upgrade it, I guess. But choose a card in the hand. It gains pure this combat. So it lets me choose. So it, ma it just makes it so there's no color requirement. Which, I don't know, that seems really specific. And I don't think I need that. <clears throat> I don't think I need that. Uh, I'm going to do this and just eat the, the curse. Like, literally. If you don't mind, you can eat this peach I brought. It's pretty sweet. So I smelling like suspicious industrial additives. The <laughs> Lunar Capital's genetically modified peaches are still very delicious. It tastes way too good. It did heal me for 16 as well. But now I have a max HP of 116. 
Man, I'm glad I took that blue pill. But now Hina, Hina can't protect me anymore, so I can sell her off. Thanks, Hina. You've done your job. Now get out. Let's... What do I win? Uh, oh, the lovesick girl. Give it to the lovesick girl and she will be happy. Plus three. This girl appeared in, uh, in, I think it was Wildhorn Hermit. She was a uh, yokai of the day. Her feelings are made unrequited. She takes 60% less damage. Oh, that's the gimmick. <laughs> that's the gimmick. Hold on. <laughs> just just take it I love you take 40% less damage but now I have no mana to do anything but shoot why you shoot is good Wait, I didn't take any damage at all. Why not? Adds, okay. Start out of Rainbow's turn, gain temporary fire probably with the number of attack cards last turn, played last turn in this combat. Oh, right, the Graze. I forgot I had Graze active. I got a free dodge. Take it! Take it and leave me alone, damn it! Now nah, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Ouch. Healing's good. Okay. What's exiled right now? Secret border is. Oh. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could do that. 18 block. 24 block static charge. When damage, deal damage back from the river. Move at the start of the character next turn. Hmm. with that. She's preparing a spell card. Oi, oi, oi. Boom! One more and I get charge. So I'm gonna start next turn pretty good. Uh, 
All right. Let's see what we got to play with, shall we? Well, I got seven barrier. Hmm. 32 damage. Eighteen damage. Hmm. Thirty two barrier. So I got one, two, one. Close. I'm gonna do eighteen damage per, huh? Okay. I'll live. Cards. Free fly. At the start of Raymu's turn, gain... Oh. Emergency defense and serve a lightning strike. 24 block costs a lot. Pretty sure the, the, the letters just lower her defense because she had 60% damage reduction. <laughs> the start of Raymond's turn. Hold on, is this per? Chat, is this a per uh, a per thing? Like, if I use this, it, it, oh wait, yeah, it's an ability, so yes, it is. So I'll always have an additional mana if I play this card. It only costs one of each. Hmm. Or I can take 24 immediate. What's the upgrade of this? One less cost. I'm taking free fly. More mana. More mana, more, more lightning mana. Welcome to the shop. Over here, dear customer. What do we got? Jewel Pagoda. Start a combat game. Zero and zero. This exhibit will be, will be improved at a gap up to a maximum of three times. Now that is something you want early on. Look look at the price on that thing. Good God. Great. When acquired, gain eight maximum life. Bamboo. Whenever Rainbow grazes an attack, gain... Okay. So you start with stuff. But you, have to, you have to upgrade it at the gap. Marissa ability. What it, while in burst, Rainbow's attacks deal triple damage instead of double and gain four charge. That's 50% off. That costs so much. Ascension above the realm, another one of those cards. I would like that. Rocket broom, one grace, three charge. Hmm. Enter burst. <laughs> When you use it, you just enter burst. Okay. It costs a lot. Yeah, I know it costs five, but it gives three, essentially, because you get three back from going burst and you get the it triple damage from burst attacks. Burst lasts for the turn. Yeah, the upgrade version is definitely worth it. And it's 50% off, so like, how could I not, right? I also want another Above the Realm card, though, because it's still pretty good. The other ones, I uh, don't need them. This would be really good if it was early on, but, like, yeah, using the gaps to get additional mana and charge at this point. Strength and body. So I'm buying uh, Above the Realm, and I'm buying All Out. And I'd like you to take away one of my shoot cards, please. Actually, chat... Should I get rid of one of these or one of these? Because this costs two. Sure, five damage isn't much, but it costs one. But these cost... I mean, it is a red attack card, I guess. So that helps the whole, you know, shenanigans. That does help the whole shenanigans. I'm just going to get rid of the regular one. Can't believe I have to pay her to get rid of my cards, though. Okay, bye. 
Miss Raymer, would you like to trade some cards for this collectible card game outside of the uh, uh, outside world? We can trade with rare cards. We don't have any reasonable price. Also acceptable. Exchange Ori some for a rare card. Wait, I already have that card. <laughs> Why would I trade it? Hakure Illusion. Okay, I saw that one earlier. Interdimensional Rift. Whenever the player gains temporary firepower, temporary spirit convert one of it into firepower or spirit, respectively. And Birth of the Ying Yang. Start a player's turn. If there are no Ying Yang orbs in hand, add a Ying Yang orb to the hand. Oh, that's crazy. I can pay 125 to buy one of them. Or I can trade it for one of those three. I see. 125. Hakure Illusion costs way too much to use. So this adds a Persuasion Needle to the hand when cards are exiled. That costs zero. And this adds a Yin Yang Orb to it if I don't have any in my hand when I use it. And Yin Yang Orbs are always 8 barrier. So... Hakure Illusion. Yeah, Hakure Illusion is really strong because every time a card gets exiled, which I have a few of those... Because it doesn't specify the orbs. It'll give me a free damage Persuasion Needle. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take the illusion. I am gonna take the illusion. Wait a minute. Chat, how do I select the card? How do I select the card? Because <laughs> if I select the card... How about 125? Deal, that's a lot higher than the bids on trading platforms. See you next time. I have 38 cards in the deck. Alright, so my next play chat was to go down and do enemy, event, gap, elite. That was my next plan of action. Okay. Twenty damage coming my way. Twelve barrier. Can't use that anymore because I use the light for that. Seventeen damage. I have enough. Mm. I can maintain the barrier if I put the block up. Or I could use this and then attack. Perfect. That'll maintain the barrier. Give me charge. Use pla all the all the good shit. All right. I do start with phrase. You know what? I did forget that. I forgot that again. So that was uh, worthless. Nice. Good job. Excellent. Well done, team. Anyway, I have uh, the funny card again. Do I need barrier? No, I actually I blocked that, so I can just pump all of my uh, fire into that for an attack. Game five barrier. Uh, yeah, actually I'm gonna do that. Is there any reason to do that? I can't do anything else with it, but I could cross the barrier. Uh, fuck it. Just, just explode. Just explode. <laughs> Alright. Fortunes added. Big decks above the realm. Homing amulet. Heroes barrier gain of fire. Ah. Well, that was good. Money card. Evil ceiling circle plus. Whenever Rainbow enters burst, draw three cards. Gain ten block. And 10 reflection. 
13 each, but it costs two. It's defense, so I don't know if I like that. This costs zero. This costs zero. Yeah, that costs zero, and when I enter burst, I get three cards to use. That's fantastic. Give me that. All right, event time. Hello. Maya, we have another applicant. With your life as the price, see what power you can gain from the master's doors. Lose 11 life, gain a random ability card. Lose 22 life, get uh, two random. Lose 11 life, gain 100. Leave, lose 11 life. Wait a minute, what? 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 Why do I lose 11 life no matter what? <laughs> you need to pay to leave even after doing it. Oh! Oh, so... So if I buy something, I still have to pay to leave. Is that what it is? So if I... I'm losing 11, but if I spend 11 to get an ability card, I'm losing 22, essentially. It costs HP to leave. But it costs HP to get benefits. I don't really trust a random ability card, so I'm just gonna take the penalty. 100 is a lot, though. I'm just gonna... I'm just... I want to take the money. Still want money in the end. Want to continue? Gain 30 power. No. I failed to meet the master's requirements. What job is your master offering anyway? I will eat that. Because I go to the gap and recover it. Because I don't think there's a card I really need to upgrade. Chad, if I click upgrade, I can back out, right? I, I wasn't paying attention to that. Because I wouldn't mind just healing 35 and being back up to full for the elite. But I want to look at my cards. Oh, I can't go back. Okay. I just want to look at my cards. Specifically this one. Whenever Rainbow Exiles a card that isn't Persuasion Needle. Add a persu- What changed? Ethereal. What? At the end of the player's turn, if this card is in the hand, exile it. Oh, so you have to play it when you pull it. But when you upgrade it... When you upgrade it, that's not the case. Or, so sorry, I mean... This card gets exiled if you don't play it. When you draw it. So, you have one time to use it. And, oh, right, I was gonna upgrade... Chat, I was gonna upgrade this card, because this one... This one immediately popped me when I did it. Yeah, I can get it back crossing the border. I I remember I, the plan was to get this, not to heal, because this is this card's insane. It enters burst immediately if I use it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting that. I'll recover eventually. I have the bloodthirsty Ying Yang Orb, of course. Enemy time. Achy. Stealing exhibits under the guise of incident investigation. How repugnant, Reimu Hakurde. Uh, what? Homing amulets. Player intends to deal 14 damage to player. Accurate. A reflection of Reimu. What does that even mean? Reimu sins average. I didn't do anything. I didn't steal anything. Ramos sins. Laser, barrier, slam. Hmm. I don't have any overdrive. Oh, okay. Speed duel. What does that even mean, mirror image? Kaboom!
The Grays will dodge Aki's attack, but not Ramus. Ah, fuck. Uh, break two random cards. Car attack cards first. Well, wow, that'll do it. Above the realm. 16 damage is all that's coming. Seal, Rainbow can't play attack card until the end of the turn. Uh oh. Hmm. Guess we're just blocking. Uh, deal seven damage each enemy two times. Rainbow's temporary fire power do that much damage one additional time. I can't use this, but I can at least go into my deck. I guess. Kind of a blow. Yeah, I'm sealed. I can't do anything about that. Maybe I should have held that. Whatever. Not a huge loss. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Anything gets exiled, it's not a persuasion needle. I get a persuasion needle for it. That's about to do a lot of damage. So it's time to... There you go. That'll dodge one of them, but that shield will block. That'll give me barrier. Yeah. Hakrade Phantom. Charge is at four right now. Exile and retain. I can hold on to these for a big attack further in. I'm holding on to them. Hi, yeah, yeah. Seek reporter. Cloud block, cloud reflection. Let's charge that. Charge that four. Damage coming is forty one. Two. Six damage to reveal loses a buff. 
24 block. I can't play that because it's not free from that. One charge. Exile a card from the hand. Whenever Rainbow loses a buff. One of our cards exiled. Get a needle. I don't have any mana for that. Thirty nine damage. Oh, she's still here. Oh. <laughs> I thought she was gonna fuck off when I killed Aki. Eight times three, huh? Free fly. A little late for that. Those are accurate, can't be grazed. One more attack. With the fire one, I get burst though. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Deal 42 damage. <laughs> Just 48 damage. 52. 54. Just. Just fucking do damage, dude. Just do damage. 54 times 3. Simply pay the fee. Alright. Alright, I'm alive. Hi, yoy. Dumpling. At the end of combat, the player gains two life and five. Sure, yeah, that's fine. Uh, all right. Great Hawker Day Barrier grants a continuous effect until the end. Each copy of ability card can only be played once per combat. Whenever Rainbow would have an amount of block, gain that much barrier instead. Wait, isn't that kind of insane? So that, wait, that turns block cards into barrier, right? <laughs> hmm, I see. All right, yeah, give me that. Bunny time. Thank you for your hard work, Master told me to provide you with supplies. Pioni. Whenever five lights are spent, gain three life, then reduce the recovery by one until the end of combat. Whenever three attack cards are played in a turn, the player gains five block. Uh. Chad, I kinda. kinda want the HP. Kinda want the HP. However, this is pretty cool as well. But I feel like by the time I'm playing three attack cards, uh, like, they're dead, you know? <laughs> so I'd rather get the HP. Yeah, I'd rather get the HP recovery. Because the HP recovery doesn't require it all to happen in a single turn. This one's fine, because, you know, it, it happens if it happens. But, like, the other one is just, All right, since some rabbits to handle it, that's a lie. They're all on vacation. None of them will take my calls. All right, well chat, uh, I'm not going to the shop. 
I'm I'm visiting the gap. I'm going enemy. I'm doing this one. We're starting with the enemy, then the event, then the gap, then the elite. Oh, this sucks. I have two free grays, so I have I actually have a turn to play this. <laughs> I have the turn to play that. Okay. Alright. Alright, Graze is gone. That's a heal. Duplex barrier, spell card barrier, the great Hakurei barrier. Hmm. 13 barrier, 13 reflection. I'll take five for that if I do that. It turns into barrier proper. Okay. Curse of Drowning. Rainbow takes 8 damage at the end of each turn. Oh, that's cock! Burst? Does somebody say burst? I guess we're just chucking a bomb. Eight block, ten block, upgrade a card for free. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo! Would you like... The bomb. <laughs> Muchos great. Free fly mushroom feast. Impatience. Draw five cards. No more cards can be drawn this turn. Huh. That's a freebie because of my uh, ability. So that's. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. I just have to use it at the end, but if I draw draw cards with it, I can't be I can't draw with them. I'm taking it though. I'm taking it. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, we're going to the gap. Rainbow Hakuday sees a stationary Jizo statue nearby. Will worshipping her bring good fortune? Choose a card to offer and gain a corresponding reward. Here. Narami smiles at Reimu Hakurei. Hey, thanks! Thank you! I got rid of a card for free and got one max HP for it. So I guess the better the card you give her, the better the reward. I don't know how you gauge that. So I can heal all my HP or... Or I can reduce the cost of this by two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, reducing the cost of that by two is kind of crazy. So we're getting the chat the way i play this these games like my i want my hp to be max at all times but like i can't i can't heal and give up that you know so i gotta really fucking skirt the edge of bullshit at any given time <laughs> clown fairy's great rampage 
Lunatic Torch. Clamp Pieces Torch shines with a peculiar light. All enemies are driven to madness. Gain Rainbow at the start of Rainbow's turn. Isn't that good for me? Well, I have Grays up. Uh, but that's a spell card. Wandering Heaven. Spirit Bomb. Last card played with combat was red. Gains three charge. Do I have temporary firepower? I don't. <clears throat> I don't have an attack card for this. I could just go heavy and drop firepower, but I don't know if that's worth the initial bombing. Uh, it might be. I'll just take Belt, yeah. Three Power Power, three Spirit. Defense is chosen. Oh, it's the bomb again. I have three left. She's not attacking, so... I think I'm gonna pick this. And... Fire it at her. Hmm. I don't have a barrier. But I could play that and get a barrier and set up. I think maybe I'd rather that. Honestly, yeah, I'd rather that. But now at least homing amulet will go in my 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 card pile, and it gives me firepower. Okay. Okay, first turn. Oh motherfucker. Five, one, four. That's a lot of mana. <laughs> 16 accurate. 16, 7, 12. Summon crazy. They're all crazy. We're all insane. Help me, my shield. All right. Ha. Huh. Draw five cards. No more can be drawn on this turn. Can't draw. When in burst, enter burst. <laughs> just, just enter burst. Fuck. I can't draw cards with that though. I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna use that. Uh, at least gain the temporary firepower.
Okay. I still have enough to burst, if you can believe it. But I don't want to miss out on the burst draw effect. to each enemy. I think the shield gets hit twice. That would be all three of them. Defense, battle stance, 24 block. Hmm. Becomes barrier. Concentration. Three more cards. Oreo. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Twenty four. Well, I mean, you know. It literally converts into barrier, so why not? Pumpy! 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 I have one darkness energy. All right. End the turn. My hand is full already. Yeah, ain't it just? <laughs> just. Did we burst? I think we burst. Yeah, we bursted. That's why. All right. Guess I'll just start throwing cards at you, sweetie. Good. I should have used some light ones, actually. Portal gun. Takane's shop price are 20% cheaper. No longer run out of things to buy. Yeah, alright, that I don't know how that makes sense, but sure. Yokai Buster, Flamble Laser, Hanima Front Plus. It deals zero damage, but while in the hand, whenever an attack card is played, this card's damage becomes that attack card's damage. So, that can be really good if the attack I use prior to it, it basically, it's basically a double. And it only costs one energy compared to these other two, so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if I draw, if I get final spark, I get two of them. <laughs> It only takes one. Okay. Forward. Oh, Junkie. Upgrade. Alright. What do I got? What do I got? This reduces this to one. That's pretty good. This reduces this by one. I haven't even used that yet. I need to pull it on like the first turn to make it helpful. That makes that free, which is really good. And this makes this so it I, I don't have to use the turn I draw it. So, I don't know. If I draw that first turn, I could just do it and Graze will help me out there. I think I'd like to increase the strength of my barrier cards though, because I need more defense. <laughs> I really do. So I'm gonna make this one free. Uh, not free, but I'm gonna make this one essentially free. Because I need more defensive cards. 
Hmm. Turn an exile card to the hand. A fire for five barrier, yeah. Be that. Price here don't account for the minus one on the gray. No, they don't. That's applied in the battle itself. That's why I, I didn't realize one of the cards I had was already free. <laughs> essentially, because of that. Alright, I got max fantasy seal. Junkie time. Whenever Raymond plays a card, purify times one, convert X to the most abundant mana color. Uh oh. Uh oh. Concentration, draw a card. Speed duel. Nice. Okay, I see. So the goal here. The goal here is to play the cards that use the need the mana the first, and then every time every time I play a card, she's going to purify the one I have the most of. What happens if they're even though? Or is it just is it only gonna pick fire ones until it, they're empty? Is that how it works? Or is it gonna pick randomly between the two now? Because I have uh, two of each. All of my block cards are in my hand right now. I'll take a fire one. It converts it, doesn't use it. Okay. And give me my eye barrier. All right. When draw and purify two, and now she's hitting me for 36, 36 damage. Okay. Got to do that. I won't be able to stop all that. Ah, TSS! <laughs> Lily's a murderous intent. 40. Oh, I thought it would stack them, but it's multi-hit, so it doesn't really do that much. Blaze Blazing Star. <laughs>
They're all colorless right now. <laughs> so much for that. I didn't realize there's a hand cap. I want to keep my needles. I really do. I'd rather keep my needles more than anything. I could just pad my barrier. Okay. Next overdrive effect does not cost. I gotta use... Well. <laughs> Alright. Takes one, 33 times two, we don't have enough mana for that. Takes fire, so I can only do this one. back up to basically full HP. Rainbow Hakurei failed to find the jeweled branch of Hordai. Wait, she failed? But the jeweled branch of Hordai is still missing. Oh, that was the end! Oh, shit! So there were, uh, so there's three bosses. Okay. Instant resolve. So you get EXP, which adds more cards to the deck, right? Lucky break. That is fucking amazing art. Gain one amulet. Amulets negate incoming debuffs. Gain five money. Free. Bat incarnation. Red neutral rare. Gain five temporary power. Gain five grays. And the next dial. Wow. Whenever the player loses the buff, gain four barrier. <laughs> okay. By imposing oil painting at the start of the player's turn, gain one random mana. When acquired, gain 150 money. Increase maximum life by one and upgrade five random cards in the library. So hold on, chat. Do I have to pick one or are these just all unlocked? So these cards and that artifact are unlocked for a future playthrough. That's what this is? Because I know Slay the Spire does something like that, right? Okay. And each character, each character has a different unlock tree, yeah? So I unlock these cards for the future. All right, all right. Oh, I got more. Got Ying Yang Confluence. Exile each card from the hand, then add a Ying Yang Orb to the hand. It deals four more damage for each card exiled. 
Wow, that sounds like it stacks up really nicely with the Great Hawker Day Barrier and the Hawker Day, uh, whatever that was. Meditation. Choose one of three random neutral cards to add to the hand. It temporarily costs zero and, ha and it has Exile and Ethereal. Three random neutral cards. Oh, that would have been amazing. Oh shit, Chad, that would have been amazing for my, uh, my deck because I turned a bunch of red cards into neutral cards. And it would, let me just put them in my hand, and they were already going to be exiled anyway, so I would just got them for free. Uh, breaking boundaries. Choose one of three random color cards of any color to add to the hand. Temporarily costs zero. Okay. So that's like the card I was using, but now it's just any card. It could be any card. And what's this? Computer parts. Drinking tea at a gap also grants 40 power. <laughs> okay. I didn't do that once. I have Marissa unlocked now? Well, I beat her ass, right? So I picked Sakuya, would have unlocked her, huh? So my score is my EXP, and you get a multiplier on difficulty. So I got 14, uh, 1,415, which was 1,450 EXP. And I can see what I unlock with each set. Hmm. Okay. And there's four, five, six, there's ten sets to go through. Oh, they unlock at levels. I thought it was because I beat her ass. Okay. Unlock level two. So now... Character is unlocked at level four. Oh, I see. Complexity three. Is she that complex? Why is she the second unlock if she's that complex? Character's not ready yet. Character is not ready yet. Okay. Well, that was cool. I like that. Uh, I like that. You can see their deck, their starting deck. I have a good idea what I just did, at least. Marissa has... Interesting. Marissa has more dark. Marissa has more dark than red, but the red ones are part of her... Her burst shit. Unless her burst shit doesn't actually apply to her and it's only just because I got her item. She has 75 HP and starts with 80 money. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay. Collection. So... Unknown card. So these are the cards. You can see the art. Is that Sunny Milk's Sunny Milk Scarlet Mist incident? Card scene 126. Exhibits. Treasures, legendary. Achievements haven't been implemented yet. Okay. Run history. Wow. Chat. Three legendaries. What were the legendary ones? The Parasol. The Hak No, the Hakuro. Uh, the yin yang orb and the wine. Oh, the boss, the boss ones. The rares were the umbrella and and uh, the tactical conductor. Five commons, three uncommons. Okay, I had six rare cards. <laughs> Unupgraded. It costs fire and it's four. Okay. Incident resolved. Raymu. I see. I see. Notice. Currently working on Chirino and green neutral cards. After that, we'll begin working on Koishi and story mode. Encounter any bugs during gameplay contact. Well, I didn't see any bugs, chat. Extras. Advanced rules. Damage types, mana colors, forward card pool. No, thank you. Licenses, 2008 by Google. Whoops. So I accidentally four hours, chat, uh, to play a card game. That was not supposed to happen. I had everything set up for the sorter, <laughs> but that was amazing. That's great. That's a lot of fun. That was a fun game. I liked the play style I adopted, and it worked out pretty well. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play more of this. It's not even like fully out yet, but I'd like to check out the other decks. Try out Marissa. Try out the other Reimu deck. Try out Sakuya. You know, there's and of course it's like not, you don't have to play that way, right? You can play however the cards hand to you. But I, I liked uh I liked the charge mechanic. 
I liked that mechanic, and I liked the cards that let me put cards in my hand for zero cost because they gave me some whack-ass cards to use. <laughs> Amazing game. Amazing. And you know what, chat? On top of this one, there's still another one set to come out at some point in the future involving Lily White. So there's two of them. So, you know, card game all over the place. But I've never played uh, Slay the Spire. I've watched Benny play it a handful of times, but I never fully understood what it was he was doing in it. And now, now I do. And I like how the, I like how the cards, at least as far as I could tell for Raymu and Marissa, their cards were very in character. Like, Raymu's cards kind of fucked around with, like, Raymu's cards fucked around with uh, going through the, the exile, the deck, like, the border, in a sense. And, uh, you know, stacking barriers, turning block into barriers, and stuff like that. So, like, and then Marissa was all about, you know, intense, ridiculous firepower. Which is pretty goddamn accurate, an archetype for uh, those char characters. And actually done in a form of, uh, in, in, uh, in like, a card game. So I wonder if, like, uh, <clears throat> I wonder what Saki is about. Saki feels like, I don't know how you do time stop stuff, right? <clears throat> but, no, that was that was great. I had a lot of fun. If I didn't, I wouldn't, like, by the end of it, I was really paying attention to my cards, so I didn't fuck anything up. So, you know, I feel like I feel like by the end of the game, if, if the run's going well, then I'm just, it's going to be like, I'm just going to end up shutting the fuck up because I have to read every card, figure out what I want to do. But at the early parts, like, the events are fun, uh, pathing out, like, your path is pretty good, getting a little lucky on the card draws, uh, I didn't have to heal, skipping turns like Blazing Star, well, I didn't really skip turns, oh, you mean, uh, you mean the, the extra one, yeah, those cards were great, uh, the ones that, they activate an extra turn, but everything costs plus one, but, like, the plus one is not too bad, yeah, the art's fantastic. There's, there's, there's really not, there's not enough I can really say. Honest, there, I had no issues with that game at all. I really didn't. I've never played Slay the Spire, but like if, if I was interested in more card games, I would probably pick it up just as a result of this. Or you know, if you have played Slay the Spire, then you'd probably really enjoy this because, well, as far as I can tell from what Chat's saying, this game is very, very, very much like it, but with a, a good old tall coat of paint. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. <clears throat> The powers in the game are too powerful. Uh, well, it feels good to be good. And there's also higher difficulties, right? Uh, normal mode worked pretty well. I did. There were times I felt like I was in danger because I was my deck was a little lopsided. But I did manage to, like, you know, Rainbow's passives and I had healing. I found residual healing. So my HP stayed up really high. Other play styles, of course, will probably play a little more risky. I don't know. It was only one run of, like, potential many. <clears throat> Do anything like Slay the Spire unlock ways to handicap yourself harder and harder? Either way, chat, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I really did. I didn't see any real issues with it at all. No bugs, no problems. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to more of this game. I will definitely play more in the future. That's all I got to say, really. <laughs> the game kind of speaks for itself, right? You know, it's great art, great music. Just, it works. It's a good card game. I don't know what else to say, really. Like, I, I feel like everything I said, you could see for yourself. I can't, I'm not lying. Like, it'd be pretty hard to lie in that situation. I really enjoyed myself for the better part of four hours. I really did. Great. So, yeah, if you, it's, uh, it's available on Steam. It's an early access right now. I don't remember how much it costs, but I usually don't really mention that because, well, I, I feel like it's not fair to sit, talk about things being expensive or inexpensive because. The amount of work put into things is all over the place, you know. The only time I ever mentioned uh, that was with Spell Bubble because DLC packs. But no, I thought I thought the game was great, and if you like Slay the Spire, you would probably like it. And you know, if you, if it's worth the price tag, if if it looks like you can get the price tag out of it in your playtime, then go for it. And there's more to come. There's three characters right now. There's six initial decks you can work with, and there's more characters to come. So four more decks, and there's there's already over 300 cards in the game chat. There's over 300 cards in the game already. That's kind of insane with how much they have. And it's not even done. The game's not even done. That, that's the part that I can't like. I can't get over. The fact that it's not done yet, but it's still in a completely playable state. And if you, know, if you get it early, it'll be cheaper than when the full thing comes out. That's another benefit of early access. 
if you buy early access, you won't be, you know, you'll get it for cheaper. Because when all the new content gets in, the price goes up. That's why I bought Genso Night Festival so many years back. Because I'm when that comes out, I'm going to play it. But I got it for like five bucks. So it's a good investment. <clears throat> yeah, very good early access release. Fantastic. I'm repeating myself at this point. So I'm, I'll, I'll end the recording here. But yeah, I will play more of that in the future. Hands down. Probably later in the week, honestly. 